played as much as I probably should, but it is a good game. They're back. Rock and stone. Rock and stone. <laughs> okay, now we're live on my end. Okay, thank you, Twitter, That's for actually screams. eventually behaving. As he screams, rock and stone. Rock and stone. Hey, it's great. Hey, I'm a dwarf in a different... I'm, I would say I would say I'm a dwarf. My character's an honorary dwarf in my Pathfinder game. I'm not actually <laughs> the dwarf in the dwarf campaign. There are three dwarves in the party, and my character's honorary dwarf, because they're basically a dwarf, because they grew up with dwarves. And they're a giant rock. So, it makes sense. They're culturally dwarf. Yeah. Culturally dwarves. They are, they're a giant... Um, eight eight and a half foot lizard man made of stone. Um, mm. who grew up in a city full of dwarves, and he acts like a dwarf <laughs> in most cases. Fair enough. Our our game is very weird. We have three dwarves, one giant lizard that's effectively a dwarf, and uh, one kitsune that hates short people, as the party in the dwarf campaign. Who pretty much every NPC is a dwarf. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. I am a dwarf. But no, empty king the hole. Uh, shall we play some Dungeons and Dragons? Sure. Yeah. Why not? Oh, if we must, if we must. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Well, thing is, Ali's got snacks now. I also have yeah. snacks. I, I I can eat while muted. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's just a lovely mug full of mozzarella sticks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. I, I love that Ali's like, no, no, don't take my DD away. <laughs> I need this. You need no. this, these things. <laughs> uh, I think we've had this conversation before. Yes, we have. Wait, are you guys actually seeing icons on the map? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Lots of them. Why? <laughs> so I'm not seeing icons on the map. That's yeah. more concerning than that us has, being able has to. Has Roll20 updated its default icon? It, it has. Possibly, because I assumed you'd change the... them manually, Chris. I have not. This is... I didn't know what you were talking about until I've seen the stream. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was going to print screen. What over. the yeah. hell? It's really cool. I thought, oh, Chris has changed it. That's really nice. No, that's the default. No, that's great. That's the new default, apparently. Hell yeah. Roll I, how, do, how do I upgrade to the new default? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> no, I didn't it just... I haven't paid for all... it. It might be a um, beta thing. Wow! Um, so check it. Check in the settings if you're like in with the beta testing things. I don't know where that would be. Oh, I think I actually yeah. I, it, I technically might be in the beta beta things, which might be my favorite because in one of my different games, which is a meme of a game, which happens every so often when the GM feels like it. Oh, no, it's not a bit, uh, beta feature. Not beta, um, a new feature. On settings, it, um, I've got the beta features off, so. Hmm. Uh, it, it, Roll20 really did have an update, like, earlier in the week. Yeah. So I guess it's just, but, that was one of it. Try refreshing your page and see if it updates it. Yeah. Let's find out. I feel like I'm missing out now. I feel like I'd uh, I'd quite like to see what everyone else is actually seeing. <laughs> is anyone not seeing the new icons? I don't know. Well, uh, are you seeing squares or circles? Are you seeing on the map? Are you seeing circles? little like heads and shoulders? Squares, but there's oh, uh, like so tokens. someone, so anyone who's got the normal like white and blue icon, look at the streams to see what the hell the new icon is, because it's pretty sick. I'm okay. looking yeah, at your stream now. Jesus, it's like a guy in a cloak or something. Yeah, I wonder that's... if it could be like a light like mode, dark mode for difference. Maybe. Right. But, but yeah, now do you understand? I was like, oh, that's really cool. Yeah, it's just loads of suspicious dudes. I, I was like, yeah. it's there's a <laughs> thousand They're dark all lords. There's a thousand dark lords now against us. It's, Sorry, can it's, we? Alright, how many tabs have you got open? Oh. Most of these are PDFs. It's fine. <laughs> Uh -huh. I've got three tabs open, but I'm seeing the same as what Ali just posted. <laughs> you don't I... want to know how many tabs I've got open. I can guess. <laughs> you I are think I, have... Even... I have three. <laughs> I have I three you... open. Admittedly, I've clo I closed a couple just before stream, but still. Yeah, most like, most multiple of multiple windows tab. with multiple tabs. Yeah. What if well... one of you's infected the icons? 
If you're tuning in for the first time, welcome to the lovely discovery we've made that apparently the players are seeing seeing different icons. <laughs> As of this week, this wasn't a thing last week. Default. I thought it was just me uh, from the scene on oh, my I've, phone. Also, I've... a lot different than my laptop. But... Apparently not. <laughs> also, I was wondering if it might be anyone who's got beta features at all. Like, any access to a beta map. Maybe. Clay the cooler members see the circles. Thank you, Sheepman. Yeah, because yeah. I also, I also um, don't get the try our beta features option right. either. It's because this server isn't a beta one. I own, I'm only wondering if it's anyone who's got access to a beta server gets it. Because one of the other games I'm in is a uh, uh, beta. I, I think it. I don't think it's um actual servers that are beta. I think it's just like a tag on your account. Yeah, which it might be so, because like, a few of us. Yeah, so if we're we probably. In them, yeah, we probably signed up for like the beta then. Yeah, it's because I'm I'm in one for a um, a random game that a friend of mine runs, which is called uh, Why Slay Dragons When You Could Be Fishing. Yes, that's a game. I play a crocodile in it who's dumber than Alvina. Don't ask. Well, fair enough. Hard. <laughs> I got uh... I ran I rolled the stats. I got five intelligence. <laughs> So two more than Alvina? Uh, two less than Alvina. Dudes, I just see the <laughs> blacked out ones. Yeah, don't worry about it. Um, the map pretty much looks the same. Some people are just seeing slightly cooler icons, in my opinion. Yeah! <laughs> you can actually see them now, Chris. Like, generally, right? That's that's the main one we need. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, no. I, can, I can't see. I can only see them on the stream. Um, <laughs> but who yeah, cares? Alrighty then, let's do a quick voice check. You can remind me what happened last time, Pickley, for those who weren't here, which I'm pretty sure was just Neil. Mm. Just Neil? Yeah. Yeah, but I'm all caught up. Yeah. That's fair, that's fair. Um, Alvina, what happened last time? Howdy! Uh, we uh, confused two uh, fire giants beyond imagining. Uh, <laughs> did some weird cultural exchanges which really confused everybody. Uh... Proceeded to sneak through an asteroid field, sneak onto the enemy ship. My cat took out my stream halfway through, mm -hmm. um, and, which is why there are two episodes for last week on my on my YouTube. If anyone's wondering, um, and then we caused the ship, the enemy ship's engine, to uh, unionize, uh, steal its food, and run off. It's <laughs> true. It's true. Zormir, what happened last time? Uh, pretty much that. But me and Lou have been left behind to mine a rock. Randy gave them. Uh, they do. Randy wanted to throw rocks at the the ship, but got told no. So he went and made them more stealthy, and apparently that helped really mentally. Helped. <laughs> really helped. <laughs> Who just sunk it? <laughs> Who needs a rogue in the party? Just have a druid with pass for that trace. <laughs> <laughs> Or a, go a weird little goblin. And a weird little yeah. goblin. Yes. And a weird little goblin. Speaking of which, fuck you, what happened last time? <laughs> fuck you tried to convince a baby fire star to kill its um, captors. Teenager. Teen teenage. We'll work yeah. on the baby's leg next. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not a good phrase. Teenage thing. <laughs> <laughs> Just oh, realizing some children, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. Yep, yeah. Uh, Gwen, what happened last time? Uh, we were sneaky boys, and I want to just distance myself from the we will work on the babies next phrase. <laughs> if you please. Well, it's, you can't fool us. The, ship, the ship's going to be slower because they're going to be dragged by the smaller ships now. They might. Yeah, exactly. They got to they gotta go and get their engine repaired. Um, <laughs> Lou Grimm, what not. didn't happen last week? Nobody's suit got switched off. <laughs> <laughs> I know it was a crying shame. <laughs> uh let's see. Star point the oh, search. Established that fuck you is evil now. Oh yeah, we found <laughs> that out. We found yeah. out that fuck you's evil. Forgot about that. I, I actually know you. that now. I feel like we've all known that all along. It's on a new <laughs> mission. Uh Star Point the search for rocks. What happened last time? Um, I think most of the details have been covered, so I'm just going to make sure we're all aware of the gigantic Zorn that we all just went, 
Yeah, let's give them a wide berth. Oh yeah, the giant zone right, went. Diamonds. He's just chilling. Let's not go that way. <laughs> How do you like to be uh, disturbed when you're just like chilling, doing your own thing? Hey, Al it, 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 Alvina doesn't like to be disturbed while eating. It just makes sense, right? Because <laughs> she's the one that knew where it was. <laughs> true, true, true. Oh, yeah, didn't Alvina um... also become a, even more of a trash gremlin? Because she ate like she raided the freaking pantry of the giant's ship. <laughs> Why can I not click on anything? Interesting. Um, uh, and I, Kenzie, I will be your DM for this evening when I can figure out why I can't click on my damn map anymore. I don't know. Also, I think why... someone just disconnected briefly. Yeah, that was yeah. me trying to thingy like... back in as. Wait, did I join? I joined as a player. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Let me rejoin as a GM so I can actually move shit on the map. So if it turns out you join as a GM and you see the new tokens. No, I was already as as a GM when I first started. Um, yeah. Like I said, I don't have access to the beta features, which some of the other players seem to. Um, okay, there we go. I can actually now move stuff. Um, don't worry about it. So you all <laughs> previously... <laughs> you all previously made it back to your ship. Yeah. While you were away from your your ship, those who remained behind, which I believe was Zormir and Lou, mm -hmm. uh, the two of you oversaw the extraction and mining of this diamond asteroid that I'm pretty sure I wrote down what was in there. Do, 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 do. No, okay. you were uh, leaving it till the start of this week. Well, I was leaving it to the money. I needed to know the background knowledge of how this was oh. going to work in. Um, how would the two of you like to go about mining this asteroid? I'm sure you have specialized asteroid mining equipment prepared, yes? I can change my multi-tool into something that can help me dig. I don't think that specialized mining equipment... It doesn't, like, increase in size, you know. It's a Swiss no. Army knife. It turns into a Swiss Army knife. It's the pickaxe function of a Swiss Army knife. Yeah, I can turn it into a pickaxe. That's about Very it. small pickaxe. Any any better ideas? Any non taking uh, a thousand years ideas? <laughs> saying you want to be going around traveling as a ship, uh, you might want to consider how you mine for resources. Uh, what else have I got on me? Other than my anti-matter <laughs> rifle that I can. I mean, that would kind of make more sense than the tiny pickaxe, not going to lie. <laughs> Do we have anything else? Uh... We have a crane. What about the golden golems? And the gold. And we have two golems, yeah. a crane, uh... <laughs> a loading bay, yeah. a giant ship with cannons. Point bot's probably about. Point bot's somewhere. Probably organizing all the bots and everything, uh... Point, point yeah. bot sleeping off the massive headache Alvina gave it because point oh, said yes. hit it with a chair. So I went, got it! <laughs> I said go for the one that isn't possibly sentient. Well, you, no, you said you said it hit point bot, it's fine. Alvina punched point bot. You went, no, no, actually hit the animate object. So Alvina went, got it, picked up the animate object and hit point bot with it. Yep. <laughs> no, I wish I had what, what you had as well. It is create because then i could at least use create on the one of the ingots of the alloys and made it into a pickaxe i mean oh yeah i'm just, I'm just i do have song of creation so if chris is okay with us going back and before we left going with you saying we're going to stay here and mine this i could have made you some mining tools because <laughs> we can either use the radiant steel or the Emberlock alloy to make a pickaxe. We've got uh, obsidian iron as well, which is, I think, built for this pretty much. So, the retcon require something, or, or it if, to... if Chris is okay with us retconning it, then I'm fine to say I made you some mining tools. Uh, I mean, you you come across asteroids before. It wouldn't it would make sense that you'd have time to prep that. Yeah, I'll I mean, allow it's, this. It's song of creation, so it's 
one action, just one action before I left the ship. Oh, yeah, yeah, when you're already in the asteroid field. Yeah, that's fine. I've also, uh, I've also just realized the very down shame. We actually do have a mining tool, but they're not on the ship at the moment. You. I have Siege yeah, Attacker. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. And <laughs> Poncho. <laughs> oh, well, good to know. <laughs> A large object's worth of mining tools. Yeah. Large object's worth of mining tools. Do uh, carefully crafted like fireballs and firebolts. I don't know if a fireball would work on an asteroid made of diamond. No. Um, Remember, the asteroid or... itself isn't entirely diamond. There's diamond in it. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, I can carefully craft the uh, bolts of fire and balls of fire to make like the problem with that is stuff. the fire wouldn't actually do much damage to rock. rock. It might do to us, it might do some to the actual rock. Because it is magical fire, right? So I mean if you've got like um stone shape or something like that, that'd be Mold Earth better. is like the perfect one. Uh, yeah. yeah. Once again, I've got that but I went over to Yeah, the... it was like, everyone was like, oh, yeah, we've actually got ill equipped party oh. to mine. Alright, uh who <laughs> is doing the surveying? So you left the dwarf, the dwarf yeah, left, dwarf. and now you can't mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, between Zormir and Lou, which one of you is uh, analyzing the asteroid to know where the best place to mine would be? Who's doing the surveying? Uh, they me, considering I've got uh, cartography and I'm also a smith, so I'll know a bit about materials for making things. I know about the materials, but do you know about the extraction? I don't think cartography works for a rock there. <laughs> it's a map's not going to help. <laughs> yeah, you probably want been... more of a geologist than anything. Yeah. Or an engineer. Well, and... <laughs> uh, that works. What would be the closest skill here before I make one up? It literally masonry would be the easy one, right? Smiths. If masonry's on sale so. <laughs> Thieves tools, tinkers tools. That's all the ones I've got on my. You got proficiency of nature? Uh, no. 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 All right. Uh, I'll I'll give it to you for for having the tools. So, because I think the recommendation here is like blacksmiths or anything like that. I would accept masonry. Um, I would give you advantage had you had nature as well. But uh, go ahead and give me a intelligence or wisdom check with proficiency. Let's see how well you're able to uh, pinpoint where you should mine for this diamond so you're not here for weeks on end. Insight? Uh, uh, wisdom or intelligence with proficiency, your choice. So if you've got a skill which is either of those, just click that and it's easier. <laughs> Oh, you know, you know, you actually just you can just click on like the wisdom or something, and then just add three or four, whatever you're at now. Uh, five. Five. Oh, five proficiency already, damn. You can't. You say this every week, Chris. I'm not every gonna week. lie. <laughs> I forget how high level you are. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right, plus five for for eighteen. That is pretty good. Uh. Yes. Anything you all do before last, I announce the results? The last flash. Ooh, your last flash. Ooh. Uh, what are you at now? Plus four for your flash? And no, mine's just still plus three. Yes, still plus three. 21. Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah flash would be intelligence. For, uh... No, that's already includes the plus five. Um, yeah. 25. Uh, 21. Yeah, 20, 25. Where's the other four come from? <laughs> Lou got me confused. <laughs> Have you got guidance then, though, or Lou? <laughs> no. Not a cleric, <laughs> or a druid, or an artificer. No, they're, both, they're both off there. I also think wizard can get it as well, actually. <laughs> and so can paladin, actually. A lot of things can get guidance. I'm realizing now. <laughs> Anyone can get guidance if you take a feat. Yeah. Well, there's also the All ranger right. and uh, paladin fighting style that gives you cantrips, which would give it you. All right, now, as we all know, using the mining tools requires a great deal of strength because they're giant fucking machinery. 
So as you're uh, hauling it into place and having to kind of get it set up right for the, the mining area as you begin doing the uh, not evacuation. Is it evacuation check? Extraction. Extraction. Ex excavation. That's the word I was looking for. Um, as you begin the excavation check, uh, go ahead and give me uh, whoever is actually going to be handling the machinery itself a strength check. You got uh, this, you... Lou. <laughs> and you can have advantage because your last check was so high. Uh, hopefully, me. It's definitely you, saw me. I was absolutely kidding. <laughs> I think Lou has the second lowest strength in the party. Uh, I'm 10. Yeah, I think fuck you is the only one with low. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Luckily. <laughs> well, yeah, you needed that. Luckily, you succeed and manage to drill down uh, as you open up a vein of of uh, what looks to be precious mineral, and sitting there inside it is an egg-sized diamond. Um, and now for the actual extraction part. Let's see. Uh, we had we had the actual searching, the the mining, and now it's more just uh, actually getting in there and, and pulling it out without breaking it. Slight of hand seems the obvious one, right? Yeah. Um, give me a dexterity check, uh, either slight of hands, or I will allow um acrobatics to kind of wedge yourself down there to get enough in to like kind of pull it up so you got better than a plus three no nope. <laughs> okay guess it's me again good luck <laughs> uh Lou's there for moral support yeah Lou's operating the crane that got it in there in the first place <laughs> no chance to yeah. guide Thanks. Would I get anything for being using, able to do tinkers? Is that, I'm sure, is that not with gemstones? There's, a, and... there's literally a jeweler's kit, which is for gemstones. Yeah, have you got the jeweler's kit? Tinkers is like stuff that you'd fix a car with. Right. <laughs> I wasn't quite sure which. I, that's the problem, is I didn't know it, quite know what tinkers covers for. It's, it's literally. Base. It's inventing stuff, so. All right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you have a jeweler's proficiency, I will give you advantage. No. Otherwise, it is just a sleight of hand or acrobatics check. Your choice. All right. I'll go sleight of hand because they're both the same. Twelve. Oh. Would you like to do anything before I announce the results? Have you got anything, Lou? To change the from uh, me rolling a. Uh, oh. Nine. Yeah, I'll yeah. Bend luck. I think you, I think Ben Luck works on this, right? <laughs> uh, uh, attack roll, ability check, or save. It's an ability check, right? Yep. Yeah. Got a D four. D four. All right. You want to roll it? Give you something to do as well besides me doing all the rolls. Yeah. Go on, Lou. Get a four. You no, know, that's why they can't be blamed if it goes wrong. <laughs> 14. 14. It's better. 14, 14? Yeah. Okay. It was two two successes. Uh, well, it was three successes. Um, one high success, um, which will counteract the slightly lower success to give you a nice average there. Hmm. I feel like that uh, that is sufficient. As you manage to extract a, uh, a large uncut diamond... Where the hell did I put my notes? Oh, it's because I scrolled down. That's why. Uh, worth 1,000 gold. Hell yes. Right. Someone noting that down? I'm about to say, Gwen, note that down because it's going to you probably anyway. <laughs> A thousand gold diamond. Yeah. <laughs> that seems Uncut easy. Uncut diamond. That seems the easy one, right? <laughs> Just give it the cleric. <laughs> Because none of us are jewelers, so we can't. No. Avina likes gems, but she can't really do much, and she already has a lot. <laughs> yeah, monetary wise, it's still it's still enough for like resurrection. Uh, it's just bigger because it's un uncut. I'm, so. I'm fishing in jeweler's tools. 
Yeah, I am. Okay, then you can cut the diamond. Uh, yeah. So you can you can make it smaller for the same value, basically, if you if you cut it. Hey, I'm cut so it's easier good. to transport. I'm cut looks uh, currently, it's like the size of a like rugby ball. Okay. That's a big fucking diamond, actually. Three diamonds <laughs> and a bundle of little ones. Yep. And weirdly, a gold diamond ring, which I've forgotten. Where did you get that? I remember us getting I it. I don't, remember don't know, but it's 1,500 gold diamond stuff. ring, so. <laughs> Probably something you threw at our. Um... <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you've stolen something off some corpse and threw it towards Gwen at some point. Probably. Recent memory. Probably. Actually, you might Gwen might have nicked it off of one of the uh, what's his name? Uh, jo is it Johnny? A werewolf? Jones, not Johnny. Jones. Jones's comrades. Because I think Gwen was in that room. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at stuff. <laughs> yeah, he might have nicked it from there. <laughs> there was there was some recent anymore. point where I found a bunch of jewelry with gems, so I just took all the gems out, gave them to Quentin. Yeah. Kept the jewelry for myself. <laughs> Sounds about right. Mining for more rocks. I mean, the rest of us are getting back to the ship before you go for the other one. So you'll actually have help. <clears throat> well, I'd think there'd be more than one diamond in that whole asteroid. Unless that's... That's kind of how diamonds work, up. to be honest. Like, it's a rugby ball sized diamond's a big diamond. Hey, yeah, well, what do you want? What do you want? I'll give you a thousand diamonds here. There's like four other asteroids, or at least there were. Go get them. There's like 6,000 diamonds on the field. <laughs> there was. <laughs> there was. They're being slowly eaten. You've lost 2,000 gold already. Yeah. Because we were going to grab at least that one on the way past. We that one, if one we can make back, it. Yeah. But we're going to grab at least that one on the way past. But that's we've got the rest of us coming in. Mm. Well, yeah, exactly. Like yeah. Why are we getting more diamonds? And then she's like, that's a big diamond. I'm fine with getting that out of one asteroid. I was expecting less. <laughs> I was actually expecting smaller diamonds. Nah, no, they usually collect in one. It's like pressure, isn't it? It's like one yeah. big... It's like a, a small forest so was in that one diamond. <laughs> basically the center core of the asteroid then, rather than... Yeah. That's somewhere in the core. Um... But yes, as you do this, as you begin pulling back in all the equipment, that's when the rest of your party arrive back on the ship. Now they're probably there slamming. You go. Now probably slamming down in the middle of the ship with <laughs> Gwen and Point. <laughs> the rest of you notice a giant uncut diamond in the middle of the ship. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, that's, Ooh. A, that's a juicy one. There you go, Gwen and Alvina. What? Fix the dam. Oh, what hole? The one you just made. <laughs> I have it looks down probably two foot marks. <laughs> <laughs> or at least make sure it isn't a hole. I'll just gonna swipe. I like, it's fine. It's only surface damage. I'm imagining mending, literally mending, like mending, mending, mending. I'm literally imagining <laughs> like on the exact outside of where her footsteps are. You know that the the like ash that you get after you set off a firework too close to the ground <laughs> on like a wooden <laughs> surface or something like that or have you, it had a campfire <laughs> I'm going to go next to the point and I'm going to try mending as well just real badly so like real all the all the things are slightly off because I'm just learning <laughs> just <laughs> slightly <laughs> like it's like seeing somebody with ADHD and just putting everything just at a slight angle just to annoy them just I'm, I'm imagining oh. I'm imagining it. I'm doing it ten times faster than you because I've got an item that means I can mend as an action as opposed to one minute. I'm also imagining, by the way, that I'm doing my best. How, how Gwen, I imagine how Gwent's doing it is literally like it's complete. It's perfectly ordered and straight, like wooden boards. But when Gwent does it, they like tilt to the side with no evidence of how they've tilted to the side. It's like curved the wooden board. It's, it's like someone's just someone's slightly off. brought yeah. up a, a manhole cover and just put it back down backwards. Yeah, it's like a little bit off. It'll be fine. But I'm helping, and that's important. Yeah, see, you'll be fine, Zombie. Anyway, that Just one's a diamond as well. Oh, by the way, Zombie, <laughs> we need to go now because there's kind of a giant army about to attack the fire star. Okay, and... Uh, I s what was the creature that came out? And yeah, we saw that. That was the thing. engine that I told you about. 
That I told that you know that we went in to get the engine to leave. Yeah, that was the engine. Okay. How could you convince an engine to leave? Ask fuck you. You not. Yeah, just <laughs> just look at fuck you. <laughs> Ask fuck you. Gesture. <laughs> he he just what? stood there picking his nose. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay. Are we going after the other the asteroid? Yeah. Are we? <laughs> we can get on the way past. Drive by. Like, like, throw me out in the crane. I'll grab it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna catapult it towards where we're going so we can pick it up later. <laughs> now the zone will keep coming for. I can see him now. Me. I can see the zone. <laughs> we better grab these ones quick. <laughs> <laughs> Roo, it's okay. All right, let's make our way there. Randy, get on the helm. I think we're going to have to do this quickly. Yeah, have a pickaxe. <laughs> <laughs> Get herself in the mining equipment. She doesn't need it. She actually does more with her hands, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, but you'll do even yeah, worse with this. Isn't there a risk of the, the diamonds just punching away? You'll be fine. Yeah, well, I've got move earth, which is an action. I yeah, we've got world earth as an action. Well, Alvin, can just rip the diamond out. <laughs> What were you doing as you get close to this diamond? Uh, I guess. This diamond asteroid? Who's, who's got, has anyone got any skills that are better for actually pinpointing where the diamond is? So I have actually... survival, which probably would count. Right, you roll for well, that you one. For survival, Chris, though. you call with survival? Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's nature based. I'll do. Yeah. What have you got for survival, though? Six. I got plus eight. You, you roll then, if you want it. It turns out Lou's really good at this and just was, wasn't telling Zomi. <laughs> Well, as a cult, as an ex cultist should I say, that they had to get really good at survival. <laughs> One moment, I'm gonna let Ruin to the kitchen because she's freaking out. Eighteen. <laughs> okay. Eighteen? Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, well, with a twenty-six, you definitely pinpoint the exact location of the uh, of the large uncut diamond in this asteroid. What the hell, Lou? Why weren't you doing this the entire time? There we go. Why didn't you help me with the other bloody asteroid? <laughs> I, I think I might know the answer. What's protruding through on the other asteroid? There's something sticking out there. Oh, I thought I thought Lou was the chicken answer, but you look like you're having such a fun time doing yeah, it yourself. I think it's safe. Were you distracted you by that? The kids play first, you know. Yeah. Were you distracted by that damn alien leave that the engine leaving? Sight, it was to be fair to <laughs> like, all right. You see a lot of Alvina, don't break the diamond, but crack your way in. Okay, <laughs> it's athletic. Who's right? got the best sleight of hand? Nope, I think I'm I've asking. Got... Uh, uh, it is a pure both. strength check. Pure strength. Oh, I mean, I mean, in 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 do I do I get a bonus for literally having siege My attack? Hands plus seven. Uh, yeah, I'll give you advantage. Yeah. Not twenty. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Not twenty. You just you just you don't even turn on the, the drill. You just like shove it in the ground and it cracks open perfectly. <laughs> oh, but it just goes. <laughs> I don't need it. Smashes it into the ground. It's cracks. It splits into perfectly. <laughs> It splits like an egg in the center <laughs> core there is the diamond. Yep, diamond's just floating there. You automatically succeed the third check of a nat 20. You just pluck the diamond ass. <laughs> Apparently Alvina's really good at mining. <laughs> Who'd I guess? If you were in Steamforge, you would be employed immediately. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm just going to go... S I'm just going back to my cabin for now. I like that Zormir did the entire other one, really strived, struggle, took like an hour to do it the entire time we were gone. Then we just go, Lou just points us out, there, and Alvin goes, cool, bang, done. <laughs> so I'll, be... I'll be over there. <laughs> you can try and guide us through all this turbulence. Yeah. I'll Randy's go got this. Uh, Gwen, here you go. I'm gonna toss the other rugby-sized ball to a, of diamond to a Juma Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> just, just be happy, Randy doesn't have mining. 
proficiency, else we'll have minor Randy. Minor. Uh, As opposed to major what Randy. What minor have I to have? <laughs> yeah. have to be oh, a, a fan goal! It's that guy. That's what it would be. Uh, I'm prospect oh, yeah. Go, 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 Bob. Prospect of Randy, please. Prospect of Randy. As crazy prospect. as you can get him. <laughs> crazy as... <laughs> We go to name their hill to That one! That's the one! What was that? <laughs> no, what was that? There's a voice in my head trying to get out there. <laughs> oh, that's we'll, weird. We'll teach you about rocks later. Yep. Uh, uh, later. Hi, Captain. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. As you're having this discussion, who's currently uh, piloting the ship? Randy. Randy? Uh, let's have Randy go ahead and make me a agility check with the ship. So D20 plus 8. D20 plus 8. As Randy spots a rogue asteroid flying straight towards you. <laughs> Can I just say something else instead? Randy, seeing that, is just going... Uh, come here. I, my... Play ball! Exactly what I'm going to do. Play ball. Uh, <laughs> uh, where are you? What are they doing? I'm here. We'll find out soon. I'm just remembering. Okay, so has anyone seen a bit in. Oh! My... oh. <laughs> oh <fair. laughs> My, so my, I, it's good that you did that because otherwise I was going to. Uh, oh no, it's going to hit the party. I was going to redo party. something that was it that I saw in Bayonetta. Has anyone seen the scene in Bayonetta where Madame Butterfly just headbutts a meteor? Because <laughs> that's the thing that she does. The giant demon. He was just waiting. He was happy he got to do that. <laughs> there she goes. There she blows. I mean, that worked. That works, that works. All right, are we going for this last diamond before this Zorn gets here, or are we going after the fire, uh, the the iron giants over here that are heading towards the fire star? I think we should go for the giants. The Zorn's almost there. Let him have it. Yeah, it's like, it's like stealing his lunch. Got two. He's stealing we his wave. lunch right from underneath, in front yeah. of him. That's a bad idea. Uh, let's just let's not have a fight when there's so many other people to fight. Yeah, it's like yeah. the guy's not doing anything. He's just having his dinner. There's no point. <laughs> no, I'm on the ship. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Waves at the Zorn as he passes. Yeah, Alvina, <laughs> Alvina hasn't gained geomancy yet. She doesn't eat rocks. <laughs> well, she you... does. She doesn't do any good. Get another thousand GP diamond. For, for Alvina's one. Hell yeah. Uh, She's already tossed. All right. To, uh... Um, as you as you begin encroaching upon the kind of back flanks, you can start to see some of the iron giants off in the the distance. Maybe, uh, this actually is too scale, isn't it? Like six hundred yeah. feet ahead of you. Oh, what yeah. would you like to do? What's what's your plan? Uh, I kind of shifted the map rotated the map a little bit so you are further away from the the core ships uh, i'll actually remove the purple because they're no longer visible as you've been flying down okay uh, each one of those is a single giant right uh yes because cool. i think there's 16 of them alvina will say because mm. she can see all of them <laughs> do we want to walk yes. that closer and do some damage in the back lines I mean, they'll probably turn immediately and try and rush us if we do, but it's not a bad idea. Yeah, I'll just warp directly into the middle and... Well, we wouldn't get it, in the It's middle a bad tactical to... idea, but it'll surprise them. My, no, my thought, my thought would be, uh, there's a few hiding behind asteroids between us, and uh, I can't help but notice that there are a few asteroids that are pretty close together with some giants between them. And we're here? <laughs> I wasn't even thinking warping. I was thinking... Uh, You're meaning to throw these squish. ones. Oh no, I was thinking moving to like here-ish, then firing that and massively increasing that asteroid's acceleration <laughs> downwards. He's trying to knock all of them. <laughs> so maybe warp to here or move to here? Well, probably better warp uh, out there. If we can move to Kirby here, Shrek just... going away. 
Shit, <laughs> purple Shrek's escaping. Your wife just moved them slightly to the right. If you move, later. if you move, you can yeah. delete one point, one point up to the one, one no, spot up to the right. No, we're not gonna, we're gonna leave Shrek there. He's gonna be up, the big up one to the right, Bob. All right, and if I roll low uh, enough, one to the right, Kirby Shrek will start coming towards that's, you. That's oh, no. South one. No, nope, keep going. Find an appropriate nope. stack block. Where I'm pinging. Where I'm pinging. Can't see you pinging. Yeah, you want us in there? That spot. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, this is an appropriate stack block. Uh, we'd have to warp there because okay. travel speed would never get there in time. We'd only be what was our travel without actually eighty. Yeah. If we if so, we yeah. if we warp there. Also, to be honest, we could we we're not immediately having to get there this second. It, all we have to do is get to that particular position. Yeah, but they're still moving. I know, as but we're get, moving. But we need to get to that position appropriate towards them. Which means we don't have to do it this second. We can actually like take a little bit of time. <laughs> yeah, but if there's also the to. chance that they spread out as they. Yeah. They are going in formation, so my assumption is they'll stay in formation because they're soldiers. Only because of the asteroid field itself, though. Now, but once they're in more open space, they'll spread out. Possibly. If I go for wider formation, yeah. But my thought is, we don't have least... we don't have all the time in the world. But we have some time. Yeah, we have we have more than a minute. <laughs> I'd say since we'd have the element of surprise and now, we're probably better doing the warp and hitting, throwing that through, mm. if you think you can throw it through. I mean, Point can catapult this one south, it's not going to take much effort. Yeah. Right. How how far is your catapult? Well, um, how, well, how far well, from the ship would you be able to catapult okay. from? Uh, give me one second. Catapult, uh, 60 feet. <laughs> So oh, pretty close. Not enough. Pretty not close enough close. to get two of them. But I, I can fly if I need to. But oh, well, it's the bit. One, one space is sixty, right? Mm -hmm. So we just have to get point blank on it, and then we just launch it south. Oh. And then both those yeah. meteors are going to collide, and then those two giants in between are going to get squished. Even if it doesn't kill them, it's really going to hurt. So what Assuming direction they... are we? Yep. Look the way. Arrow the direction that you want to throw the rock oh. well, I mean got to ping an arrow. There, there, an arrow there's an arrow it's directly south that way yeah <laughs> would we not be better no because we, we're trying to get rock in a hard place because if we just throw an asteroid through the middle they'll move we're trying to squeeze these two we're trying to get those two mm -hmm. just limit the number we actually have to fight we, we don't care if we disrupt their formation It'll disrupt a lot, but then they'll just swarm us anyway. So it will effectively do nothing. Uh, this one might KO two of them. And we get the element of surprise. Then we'd probably be better doing it from uh, this side then. Which side? So they don't see us. Just uh, They'll just think the asteroid's moved and we, we go that way. I, I think they'd notice an asteroid suddenly moving catapult wise. Yeah, so, suddenly like quadrupling in momentum is kind of obvious. Out of nowhere. Well, there's just one out of the amount that there is. Yeah. Also, they're soldiers, so they're not going to be super dumb when it comes to. There's an enemy ship there. They've been encountered like, some shit like catapult uh, before. Uh, they're uh -oh. they're going to be on guard because ambush. Oh, yeah, they've already spotted us. Uh. <laughs> No, he's just putting that up to worry us. I don't know. That three looks like they've spotted us. <laughs> <laughs> Who can tell? Who can tell? They're not reacting in any way. Um, all right. What were we doing? Were we flying in, teleporting in? They were teleporting into directly there, like that spot that's next to the arrow and having point catapult that meteorite closest directly south as hard as they can. Yep. All right, point. Give me an arcana check. Okay. Let's see how well you catapult that. that. Let's see how powerful your spell is. Come on, point. Oh, that'll do. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh yeah. That's pretty good. I will add that. That feels sufficient to. Uh, you know, what? I'll give them a con save based on based on that. Uh, plus ten, so it'll be a thirty-eight DC. Can they even make that? <laughs> they have a plus ten. They can't make it. <laughs> 
feel like it should just be a 28 DC then. So what level catapult should I cross off for this? Probably the highest. You said it was max for the me the big meteors, yeah. didn't he? Okay. Yeah, what's your highest level? Fifth. Oh, fifth? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think the big ones are fourth or fifth level. So. <laughs> Let's see. On the fifth gets the there momentum. Go. That was it. Uh, there you go. You Ooh. KO two of them. Hell yeah! Nice. <laughs> Squish. I feel like I now need to shrink these as they like crush into each other. Hell yes, that's a good opener, I think. Oh, I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's clapping. <laughs> All right, what's that? As they suddenly turn uh, or glance to their, I guess their right, since they're going downwards. Yep. Um, they they notice that an asteroid just fucking shot through the system <laughs> and crushed two of them. <laughs> And as they all spot you, you all hear a large, strange psionic vibration from the far right of the map. Giant Shrek. And as oh, the giant no, and yourself turn to look, you see what can only be described as a great psionic leviathan. That looks strangely like a weirdly manipulated Kirby Shrek <laughs> coming towards the group. Ah, oh, great. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> you're using your... Well, you're I'll... You're creating a good... Uh... Look, you've already done this fight before. You need to... This is this is part two of this fight. I gotta make it more interesting. Third uh, enemy. Just, Let's go. Uh, first, boy, can you, amplify my, can you amplify my voice briefly? Do you have a spell for that? I, can't, I know I there's don't, a spell. Weirdly. Do they not? I know there's a spell for it. I can't remember its name. It's like it's, the me it's like me it's, it's the megaphone. It's one of the prestidigitation or ones because I don't have them. Oh, does it have prestidigitation? It should be uh, thaumaturgy. Um, Lou might have it. Oh wait, yeah, thaumaturgy. I've got thaumaturgy. Uh, Lou, can you increase my volume for a moment? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alvina will bellow out in ignan to all the giants. Um, truce until we deal with that. <laughs> we'll do with our stuff later. You cool with that? <laughs> One sec. Um, give me a persuasion or intimidation check. Your choice. I've got neither. So, <laughs> do I get advantage because there's a giant leviathan? <laughs> uh, you would, but you also got disadvantage. You fucking yelling. crushed two of them. That's fair. <laughs> Maybe you should have no. just murdered two. Oh, God. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, so as you should, as as you know, giants I'm... are incredibly like hierarchical, loyal creatures, um, and the fact that you just took out two fellow soldiers. I just crushed the sergeant, didn't I? <laughs> I just... They are so pissed at you right now. Well, shit. I'll take the Roll blame initiative, on this. everyone. I'll take the blame on this one point, not gonna lie. You know, this, that's this, fair. this guy was my idea. I'll give you, I, I think this one was on mine. <laughs> oh, wait, I've got to click Alvina. Well, hopefully uh, it'll attack them before us. They're, they're in the way. Hey. Oh. Oh, it's a seven. Okay. That's one. That was, that was appropriately a one. Ooh. Can't argue yeah. with that. <laughs> So just you start yelling out shit. I could be oh. doing up oh, too late. God damn it! Why is it? I see one of the new tokens right next to our party. Uh, because for some reason, when I pasted it, it seemed to have updated the new one. I'm not quite sure how or why. Because <laughs> I've done this five seconds ago as well. <laughs> yeah, that that, also... that one doesn't. That one doesn't work. Wait, if I copy the new one and paste it, does it? Oh, that's so strange. I don't, I don't know what's going on there. Wait. Um, <laughs> oh, I don't know. Roll twenty, man. It's, it's a mystifying wild. concept of a. <laughs> what was I doing? I was, I was rolling an issue for, for the what, what I'm now calling the Carrick Leviathan. Carrick Leviathan. <laughs> <laughs> well, Holy fuck! Shrek is fast. It's a Leviathan. <laughs> they got plus seven on this shit. Ooh. I mean. He big. You know, Psionic, Psionic Leviathan. Horrify. We are literally fighting the equivalent of the giant spaghetti monster guy. <laughs> mm. <laughs> What's his name? Keith or something like that? <laughs> Why is that 17? Um, Alright, is that everyone in the initiative order? Uh, I think so. 
Who doesn't have a name? Randy doesn't. Should be. Which Randy? I think we've got Zormir this time. Oh no, it's Randy. Okay. Oh, yeah, they clicked on Randy's token. Zombie's gone to bed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you he just has not gone back out. <laughs> Zormi <laughs> saw Alvina do that. the mining and she went, yeah, no, I'm done. I'm going back to research. <laughs> Idiot Savant. <laughs> just between like Lou and Alvina succeeding so well. <laughs> they're like, well, I need fuck to it. start learning how to mine. <laughs> Zormi's going to be locked in reading books on mining law. <laughs> Mining the fish in the uh, uh, survey or, or properly. I'm, I'm, I really hope, Zomi, that he figures it out. Like, gets just good. It's like, right, I've got mining law. Right as Alvina gets geomancy. <laughs> <laughs> There's aren't in on this, too. <laughs> yeah! Go across the yeah! <laughs> we might have to immediately give up a diamond in order to get the Zorn on side. Bribe. <laughs> We've got other gems we can offer the Zord. We have a lot of gems. Alvina has a lot of gems. Yeah, but you can be picky. Some of them are quite expensive. You can be a fussy eater. We can try. We can try. If all else fails, we can throw him at him. <laughs> I think you're going to say if all else we can kill him. <laughs> That's if all else else nope. fails, we can kill him. <laughs> We've got enough space That's for like him to plan deal with. Z. Plan, plan, plan Z. Just kill everyone involved. Plan A, convince the psychic leviathan to be on our side. <laughs> no, plan A already has failed. It was convince the giants the truce. That's already failed. Mm. <laughs> that was an epic fail. It was. It was a critical epic. failure. Oh, uh, someone died. That would be Neil. Oh, Neil's gone. Yeah. That's shit. To be fair, we're yeah. gonna have oh, break in three minutes. I was about anyway. to say, yeah, Chris, yeah, if you want the, if you want the watering in three minutes. Yeah, I was just the calculating watering. uh the Go distance. Go for your brick first. Okay. Second. So I'm gonna put you in here. Uh, and I'm guessing. There's a token for it. <laughs> yeah, because I need to I need to work out how fast its uh aura wave works. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is what I might as well just do now because it's gonna be its first move. Um. Yeah. See how that works. I can't believe we squashed this corporal and the sergeant of the squad of giants immediately. Mm. <laughs> two fifty, maybe. Wait, how deep did it? It was. Oh yeah, two fifty. That works. Okay, so that's where I'll start. I'll actually, put that in the center there. Actually, very conveniently, about the right size <laughs> as the head that we that was drawn. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Uh, but yes, with with that, uh, I'll, I'll explain what that actually is when the Leviathan gets to his turn, is able to start <laughs> doing his psionic. Uh, it's a psionic wave that's going to wash out towards you. Um, I am very happy we've got these hats on. <laughs> yeah, we are wearing him for hats. Most of us are, apart from Zormir we'll and Lou. We'll <laughs> oh, actually, Lou's made of it, so he'll be fine. Lou's. Lou's literally made of the stuff. Apart from Zormir. <laughs> yeah. But with that, we'll take our first, like, five, ten-ish minutes break. So I always end up getting distracted anyway, and never actually coming back within a couple minutes. Um, and after that, we will begin what will hopefully be the final fight against the remaining Iron Giants. Yeah, possibly a four-way brawl. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Game that back. Four All right, see you in a couple minutes. See you in a minute. See you in a minute. And he's back. <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> what the hell's going on? Either something's needing updated on his end and his, his Discord's not liking it. Hello? 
Hello, I'm back. Neil's mic Neil. was a bit quiet as well for me as well. I'm back. Neil. Are you with us? No. No, he's not. I just said nope. disconnect when I got back. <laughs> yep. Uh. But yeah, at least at least two less giants to deal with though. Yes. Even though we can't get them on site. Um they will probably be forced to also deal with the Leviathan. Yeah. So we've we've got that. Uh, unless that psychic wave is my controller and it just ends up my controlling all of them. It Chris, could... Chris isn't here to hear that. Yeah, it entirely <laughs> could be. And to us, I think like Astral Leviathan is actually like a stat block, so you might just be using that one. Yeah. He, and I I know it's a stat block. So. Yeah. See, it's like, the one that's just a massive crab, isn't it? Uh no, not the that one I was thinking of. I was thinking the uh, the weird shark squid thing. Ooh. What's it called? Astral Dreadnought? I think it's That might is. be the crab. Yeah. 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 Because the other one, which is also yeah, I was very cool. the Dreadnought. Yeah, the Dreadnought. Because there's, there's a Leviathan one as well, which I think is from the book with the hippos with guns in it. Yeah. Give for fun. About on par with each other, to be honest, mm. in danger level, so it should be a good time. Space whale. Space whale. Ish. Space space cracking, I think is pretty much the mm. most of the one for it. But it's gonna be fun. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. Because I'm probably gonna eat and run. <laughs> See the thing and go, nope. Possibly. Depends how determined he is. Hey, if it's if it's harboring diamonds in its its form, then yeah. Hey, oh, hit. Nom, nom. hey hit. <laughs> I just got a pack of Dolly Mixer thrown at me. <laughs> I've got it. We can get the Zorn on side. We fire. We load a, a cannon with one of the diamonds and fire at the Astral Leviathan. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. Um, not kidding. That might work. <laughs> That genuinely, m that's a really solid idea, actually. <laughs> because we've got a great answer. We'll get the diamond back if we just kill them both. Yeah, we'll just take the diamond out of the Zorn's stomach, too. It'll be worse diamond, because it'll be crunched up. I believe diamond dust. Yeah, but diamond dust is still useful it for us. It is still useful. Yeah, so we've got this. We... Honestly, I want I want to know what we can do with Void Leviathan parts. Not gonna lie. Psychic armor. We can get some psychic armor. What's your armor like, do, Zormir? That's how we make our actual space suits out of Leviathan. Ooh, good shout, actually. Like, it'd be lightweight as well. Just be made of rubbery, flesh. probably. Yeah. It depends what how depends on what this thing's skin is like, right? If it's yeah, we'll find if out it's rubbery, it fight. could be. It could be like like it Rock looks, which is like Mr. Game and Watch style creature. Uh, we don't know yet. <laughs> is Lou said anything else? Is he even in the chat? No, I mean in for in any of the no anywhere. We might be able to get some upgrades for some gear for y'all as well, which might be a fun one. Ooh, I just thought of something. You think we could upgrade um, Merida with it? Possibly, yeah. That's That'd work out can. how the upgrade would work, but yeah. I was thinking it was uh, it it could literally be something like I don't know if it theme. can do it, but it'd be cool, and it seems in theme. Have it be able to like. Uh, have heat seeking shots because it's just using like mm. psionic nature to just find mines and things so it just can like loop through stuff yeah that seems stuff cool, to right? discuss with chris that because currently merida is two magic items and a class feature kind of melded into one thing <laughs> so it just is the way it's increased the, the uh, rarity of the item right that's what we've been yeah. doing with a lot of our other stuff we've been upgrading <laughs> oh you can turn it and yeah, something that does What's that one that forces people to dance, actually? 
not uh, Dance Macabre. Otto's Irresistible Dance. Irresistible Dance. Yes. Da- we'll say Dance Macabre is Warhammer Magic. <laughs> it does that innately. <laughs> Yeah, just just whenever I play, people start dancing. It becomes incredibly difficult to play anything. We're not at all planning what we're going to do with the body parts of the Leviathan after we kill it. If we kill it. <laughs> Jamie's already planned on trying to kill it now. Like, you go in expecting to have to kill everything, and it's a pleasant surprise when something survives, okay? <laughs> And Neil's having talking. problems with Discord. Yes. Um, Discord. I mean, that's not his exact words. Yeah. Put the wrong word in. I put the wrong letter in twice there, but it's close enough. Rebbit. We'll give them. We'll give them a little minute, a couple minutes. Yeah. More rabbit. Just, <laughs> they rabbit. Just type in what they need. It's a robot plus a rabbit plus a frog. It's a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> rabbit. No. It's really good at jumping. Frog. It's really yeah. good at jumping. Mm. <laughs> oh, we don't want robot <laughs> rabbits, <laughs> robots, and frogs combining. Well, that's going to be my, that's going to be next year's uh, research at LT for me probably with how the frog plot line has been going so far. Oh no, they're researching void frogs. I know. I'm on the research again. Are you? Mm. Yep. Cuz it turns out the wolves library ticket hadn't been used yet, so they just nabbed it at the end and went and put you on there. I went, "Cool. <laughs> you got verbal contract. It's fine. You're already on the research." Sweet. <laughs> you help with flora and fauna, don't you? Yes. Um, <laughs> so you you know now, they now know how to feed the frog once they get it. I know what it is. <laughs> I know what it is. I can. I'm I'm the guy who tells them what the frog is and if it's worked. <laughs> mm. I know animal and plant. Fair enough. I think I'm helping the Ferengi with their. Oh dear. Research. Oh yeah, you're doing artifacty stuff, aren't you? Yes. Ferengi. Uh, yeah, yeah Ferengi. There, there's Ferengi at, at LT. Isn't Star Trek Ferengi? Yes. Yes. Can and they do the voices say? too. Look, at, at one point in the past, uh, there was an Imperial Guard regiment in LT <laughs> that charged wow. in through a void gate, and another void gate spawned. They went, That's our ticket home, boys! and charged through. And never seen again. They all retired the characters. <laughs> Portals. Portals are wild. Yeah. But they are they are fun. And they're uh, respawning. There's more of them now. It started off with two people who went, uh, our last characters died the day they were supposed to do something big. What do we do? Uh, fuck it. Ferengi. <laughs> do something stupid. And it worked and well. And it stuck. <laughs> they're sticking to the pet so, <laughs> so well. Are. And they're good. They're good they're fun. Good. Uh, they're good fun. Interact with. We just throw anything that we think is going to mess with people's minds. We literally do. It's like uh, if they need to talk to someone or have some mercantile dealings or anything like that. It's like the Ferengi are over there because either they'll die and we don't have to worry about it anymore, or <laughs> they'll sort it out and we don't have to worry mm-hmm. about it. Anymore. <laughs> All in game for the purpose mm-hmm. of Twitch. <laughs> in terms yes. of. These are not people. It's fine. These are characters in a game. Yes. yes. You also have We've giant played. paper mache ear hats. Yep. <laughs> I guarantee, Bob, if you, you if you look up on Facebook, you can find a picture of them somewhere and chuck it in the Altera chat for people to see. I've got them. Uh, I think I've got two of them on my friends list. Yeah, that's why I, I know I have as well. I'm just not going to check Facebook. I'm just moment. not logged into my Facebook on my computer. <laughs> on my phone, maybe. But... Just do that at some point. Just send a picture of them. Well, at some point. 
And I believe they are still recruiting more people. <laughs> also, my character might accidentally be the progenitor of their race. That was hmm. the whole thing. Yeah. When a dragon sleeps with everything and has <laughs> look. Kids, <laughs> look. children everywhere. <laughs> Vampire children. No, they're a grandkid. The vampire grandkid. is not a kid. The vampire is a grandkid. <laughs> It was called One yeah. Worrying Evening that involved a, uh, what was it, goblin and a beastkin or something like that? Goblin and a rat folk or something like that? I can't remember. <laughs> it was a very late night chat oh. where most that... people apart from me were drunk and I was hyper. <laughs> mm. mm. So I'm seeing the, the vampire being a grandkid. <laughs> Just, I'm not so low as to sleep with a vampire. My kids, on the other hand. <laughs> he doesn't know about half his children. They're out there wandering somewhere. Hmm. Look, it became a bit when one new player went, literally on like the second day of event, would you mind being my dad? And I had to <laughs> respond of, Sure? <laughs> I don't know how to respond to this. this more... <laughs> and it became a whole thing. It became an actual plot line. Oh. Hello. Speak. Neil. Some form of response. Give him a minute. Come on, Neil. You can do it. Come on. Change your microphone setting. It might fix it. If you can hear us. Can you hear us? Tap. Tap and chat. <laughs> Type in chat if you can hear you us. You may never us. know. Where is Neil in the initiative? Oh, it's okay. They're all the way down at four. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. They're last in initiative. Fine. They're last in initiative. We can... Uh, we'll, we'll get there. We just do a couple of turns while we wait for, for Neil to... <laughs> they can listen. That's all matters. Hopefully they can listen. At least for now. Until we, we, hope, four. we hope they can listen. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's true. Um, Could I have had my gun charged up, by the way? Your gun charged up. What charges your gun? Just time. Time and action. <laughs> then, yes. You were, you were preparing to teleport, and you, you did a couple couple rounds before you actually teleported. That's fine, while the rest of the party were working out exactly just... the, new, the nuance of that plan. Mm -hmm. Logistic. I just realized he's not even in roll 20 anymore. Oh. Okay. Well, there's a good chance they can't they can't hear us. Yeah. I mean he's watching streams, so you should be able to. Yeah, you can figure it out. <laughs> so it turns out Lou's internet's completely cut. Completely cut. <laughs> uh Alright, alright, uh fuck you. What would you like to do? You you got you got top of the initial order for the uh the Kerek Leviathan axe. Yeah. Um Look, uh, Fucky has not got much range. Um, I think my, his highest range is about 120. Um, got a, got a little firebolt. <laughs> and I do have a fireball, which is 150, but even still, everyone's out of range. Yeah. Still got the cannons. We do have guns. We do have cannons, yes. You have cannons? I'll be heading down to man the bottom cannon. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Fucky will jump onto the front cannon. Uh, swivel it around. Ooh, the front cannon. I do love that we do have all three levels of proficiency on the cannons. <laughs> we, we have an expertise in point, we have proficient in Alvina, and we have half proficient in fuck you. <laughs> Solid! <laughs> and, yeah, let's, uh, fire at this, uh, this one here. The one unfortunate. You also, you also do have two radiant rays as well. We want to really? save them if we get a few of them. We've got the giant giga lasers that we got. Mm -hmm. yeah, they got a short range. We've not used them yet because you so... also have a celestial cannon. Yeah, that one we want to save for when we get a few of them into like a area. Mm. Or maybe shoot or the maybe... leviathan with it. To be honest, yeah. it might not be a bad idea. <laughs> so proficiency is rounded down for um, jack of all trades, isn't it? Yeah, it's yes. two for you, I think. Yeah, so it'd be plus two for this D20. 
for an eight. <laughs> mm. Ooh, unfortunately, an eight does not hit. Um, let's give a uh, bardic inspo to someone who's got range. I've who's going to do like a range attack? I've got some range. I also might um, fire myself over to this asteroid and go and punch this guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, let's give it to uh, D10 to uh, Alvina then. Thank you. Like, it will definitely come in handy much? at some point during the fight. I don't know when, but it will definitely come in handy. Mm. Fair, fair. Uh, all right, it is the character Leviathan's turn then as it sees all of these morsels of goodiness? Look at all the sentience, these thoughts, these ideas. Oh, for a psionic creature, yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Going to consume all of your uh, all of your ideas, and yeah, you watch as this large. Uh, it's got like a little bit of a of a short snaky body, um, more like a sausage dog. It's uh, the wiener leviathan. Uh, that's got uh, you know, and it's all pink, with, and it's got these little little curvy limbs instead of instead of d dog paws. Uh, and its You're face is. <laughs> Uh, you can try if you want. Um, <laughs> and its face is is that of a. Uh, a pink greenish ogre <laughs> as it opens its mouth and you see what can only be described as a tidal wave of bad breath coming towards you hmm. that's always a bad sign when you can see the bad breath right yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> As let's go uh, here and we'll just we'll pop this out here. Well, let's do this over here actually. Let's do this over here. Pop this over here. And let's uh, let's see. It starts 100 feet away from him. Oh, wait, no, that's one, two. I can't do my maths. And let's go ahead and add in the bad breath. As a wave of bad breath, you know, I want it to be green. <laughs> So by the way, I've completely forgotten what one of the th abilities on my sheet is. Well, it's one of the things I've got in a checkbox. The fuck is Alacrity? Who's got that? <laughs> oh, Alacrity, they give you a D8 oh. pl uh, plus D8 to your um, initiative. Yeah. Who has that Yeah, ability? I gave you that. Okay. So I've not got it at the I moment, do. basically, on. No. Cool. <laughs> I was literally like, I just saw it and went, I don't remember what this is. <laughs> you can also move 120 feet towards the party so let's do that as well there we go i know pieces of him are coming what? away oh that's that's just the life of a sonic creature you know he's so <laughs> nebulously a construct uh, a concept um, but that's going to be the Carrick Leviathan, as that, that gaseous psionic wave, the idea of Shrek's breath, um, <laughs> distills out towards all of you. I'm just getting... Randy, it is your turn. What would you like to do? My brain's immediately going towards the weird rip-off Slender game, Slenderman game that's got Shrek in, where it's like really slowed down smash mouth going mm. <laughs> body yeah that <laughs> it gets louder and speeds up the closer he gets to you oh okay. mm. uh it's 60 feet out so it's just outside he's he's here the ship <laughs> yeah next probably next to this rock here Let's give the uh, mock what colors your uh draconic spirit. Yeah, what type of dragon are you going? Uh probably something he'll... that stands out against all the other colors in the map. He'll be thingweed against fire, I guess. Thingied against fire. Oh, make it a uh, gold dragon. Make it gold dragon. Gold dragon? Gold I mean it's literally fire. the same, it's just the enemies yeah. are red. <laughs> I prefer red dragons, but gold is the other fire dragon. So. Well, you know, either it's just the spiritual aura gives off a slightly yellowish tint. Yeah. For the sake of visuality on the map. Yeah. 
Um, but yes, that was your action. Anything else? That colorblind shows blue for me. Uh, it's looking blue for me as well. Okay, thank God. Oh, <laughs> do, you want me, do you want me to steer the ship yeah, away? It's 100% blue. You want oh. me to steer the ship away or toward? Wait a second. Why the fuck is that blue on your screens? Is it yellow? It's or... yellow on mine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I literally looked away. Have I, have I, have I, have I, have I literally had a brief moment of Chris is saying it's yellow, it's blue. What the hell, Shashan Hannigans, is this, Rod? <laughs> now yeah. they're different colors. <laughs> what, what's different color? The, the, the auras? The dragon, the blue dragon, so the, the dragon that's is immediately to the yellow, right of our ship. Is yellow on Chris's yeah. screen. <laughs> All right, yeah, that, that's blue. Yeah, because the new tokens blue. are using different colors. <laughs> Black and gold. Like, uh, this guy um, up here is a light blue for me. Yeah, he, he's like, like teal. Cyan. He's like teal. Like a turquoise. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Because he's diamond, which makes sense. It's like Minecraft diamond color. This yeah. guy is straight up dark blue, like blue dragon yeah. blue. <laughs> uh, for those who want to know what I, I see, this is what I see, by the way. The chromatic dragon. Oh. Am I the... Oh. Because I'm one of the few people who doesn't have this update, apparently. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> well, you fuckers well. are seeing entirely <laughs> different colors than me. It's a blue color what for me as well. Wait a minute, I've just... Oh, yeah. What does... What does uh, is, you know the uh, aura of the bad breath? Is that more green than it is on the stream for you, Chris? No, that all looks the same. Okay, it's just the dragon. <laughs> it's only these new icons. <laughs> that one might be a night mode thing. How do you turn off night mode? Uh, top uh, the is the gears. Oh, I had night mode already turned off, so yeah, that is just blue. It's it's just it's only the icons that are being affected. <laughs> Wait, if I turn this icon up here yellow, does it also? No, that one's oh, yellow. That one's, that one's yellow. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I've replaced it with that one. That one worked, evidently. <laughs> what dark magic is this? Well, here we go. Apparently, apparently, this is the dragon now. <laughs> what is wrong with? I was gonna say, why didn't you cha change color of it against something else and then change something else? Don't worry, it's done oh, now. We, we fixed it there. It's yeah, it's like I was using. I, I wasn't using the token for anything. It's so just a works. random meteor in the middle of nowhere, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, because it was the mirror that was, like, coming coming in at you. Yeah, uh, I just copy and paste it. Anyway, um, uh, Randy, was there anything else you wanted to do? I was asking which way they want me to steer the ship into the fight or away from this fight. Charge! Uh, I'll steer the ship <laughs> with then. He's going to move on your turn since you're piling it. Um, Commanding the dragon to go with us. Yeah, because the dragon goes immediately after you, but you might as well keep it on the same turn. Instead of giving it a new initiative. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it works on your turn. Um, as the the ship charges forward, I guess you can move the dragon because it does have speed. If you want to move it a little bit ahead of yourself, it flies at what sixty. You could have it dash. Uh, each square is sixty. Uh. You can send the dragon out two squares or a square. What's its range on its like breath attack? Uh... This breath attack's negligible right now because uh, it's a fire. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a very fit con, and it's negligible to now consider it fire. I mean, you might be able to turn off two uh, two suits of armor if yeah. you get them close enough together. That's about all it's really uh, going to do. Two d6 fire damage. It's more than that, I'm assuming, isn't it? Doesn't it go up with uh, spell level? I mean, uh, currently, currently you're like 180 away from anyone, so you you first yeah. have to dash somewhere. And or stay with the ship. Uh, what would you like to do? Fly speed is 60. It can move 120 with a dash. It's not getting anywhere that's not... It's not going to get to attack anything this turn either way. So It'll well... stick with the ship for now and be okay. ready to attack. Alvina, your turn. Okay. Well, Alvina's going to get angry. And, uh... Yeah. Yeah. And... Uh... Yeah, probably should, shouldn't I? Yeah, I've still got the headband on. Uh, <laughs> point 
Shoot me at that one. <laughs> I'm muted. Okay. <laughs> Get in the cannon and fire me over here. Now, who's actually doing the firing? Is it is it the point? And as is the point using an action to fire you, I will or are use using my next action to fire Alvina? Yeah, or is Alvina firing technically using their action to get fired? Alvina's asking Everything. point to shoot her. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, weirdly enough, I'm just gonna take. Uh, I assume you're just going straight towards this giant. Yeah, pretty much. It's like if I can um, land on the meteor, sweet. But otherwise, get the giant is the big thing. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, it's because the giants go between the two of you. So I'm gonna have like this giant like preparing himself as suddenly you're flying towards him. Yeah, bah! And basically just do all three of your turns simultaneously. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. This this giant. Uh. This unfortunately because this giant is is between the two of you and we're switching orders around and all going simultaneously. He is going to see you coming and prepare himself. <laughs> and he's going to kind of fight back against you, but uh. Alvina, since you are technically higher in the initial order, even with the moving around, uh, go ahead and make your first attack, and I'm just going to have you like go back and forth attacking. Yeah. Okay. Oh, by the way, you the, kind of duke it out. the swords I have out at the moment are um, the Amethyst Dragon Blade and the uh, Radiant Chainsaw again. Okay. 25. Uh, 25 uh, does hit, yes. Cool for 25 damage. <laughs> 25 damage takes it. Okay, and a second attack. And uh, they're going to make an attack in between your two attacks. Ooh, fun. Uh, were you recklessing the first one? Yes, I was. Then they're going to come in with their uh, plus 11 to hit fist as they heat up their uh, kind of the, the armor around their fist. Kind of give it a little extra padding. That is a 29 to hit. <laughs> that hits me on the dice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and they are going to do, uh, this will be mixed. One I think second. I might be resistant to both. Because it's fire, right? Oh, it's fire, so it won't actually matter, yeah, I'm yeah. resistant to both, so yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, then that's just, that's just 86 plus the 7. This will be a mix of fire and bludgeoning uh, for 43 damage. Okay, half down to 21. All right, and then go ahead and make your second attack. Okay, uh, I have. It is a 28. Yep, that hits. <laughs> For um, 23 damage. All right, one second. Uh, was that 23 damage? 23, yeah. 17 23. slashing and 6 force. Takes it. Uh, they're going to come in with their second punch as you're duking it up. Uh, I'm just going to roll the 2d20s. It's plus 11, uh, 26 to hit. Uh, and again, mixed damage here. Uh, they're going to come in for 40 mixed yep. as they come in and punch you. And 20. And uh, any bonus actions on your end? Uh, I raged. So, already used. Uh, yep. Uh, that's fine. And they only get the two attacks. So, yeah, that's their two fists as they're just like uh, bracing themselves against this asteroid they were hauling. Um, as you come flying in and the two of you are just duking it out <laughs> in space. <laughs> but that was Alvina and uh, we'll come back to the point in a second for any bonus actions or anything. Okay. But the rest of the Iron Giants are going to maneuver around their Astro... Ooh, they still want to take you out. Welcome I'm a little cautious. Let's, let's have this guy kind of start moving this asteroid a little bit around so we can start throwing it at you. We'll have these two kind of duck onto the other side. Uh, we'll have these ones actually continue onwards for now. Down two. Uh, this guy over here. That one's busy. D this guy apparently lost his asteroid somehow. <laughs> uh, and this guy's also going to go here. Okay. Let's. They're going to use their turns uh, to begin effectively preparing these asteroids for deployment. They're all they're just going to shoot you with fucking asteroids. Well, let's <laughs> go. And then I guess this guy is just going to come in and, I guess, distract you as he flies towards you and dashes. <laughs> uh, but that's going to be his turn just to dash this turn. And that's all of them. Uh, point any bonus actions or anything you want to use, uh, assuming um, your action was firing Albina. 
Yes. So I'm going to try something. Okay. Um, you know how when you think you're trying to transmit your thoughts at someone yeah. without actually being psychic? Yeah. I'm doing that at Leviathan, but it's just the Kirby Gourmet Race music. <laughs> <laughs> I went into Tetris side with music. I went into Tetris a bit there. <laughs> we will we will see how that goes when it gets a little bit closer to start picking up these vibes, but you do so. Just sending it good vibes. Just good vibes. Gwent, it is your turn. What would you like to do? Okay, so we've got one guy there, one guy there. Yeah. So I think what's best is just to come is to yeah. Summon a celestial right in front of this guy. <laughs> ah, it's not pinging. Right in front of the guy in front. That guy. For distance. Okay. That's quite good. It's good. Summoning spells yeah. have a bit longer range usually. Yeah, I've got 90 foot to cast it and then it can fly 40 foot, so it should be okay. Be orange celestial. We get all the colours of the rainbow in this game. <laughs> yep. Uh what uh what what's the celestial look like? What is uh, this summon celestial? I want it to look like an old lady centaur. <laughs> it's your nan! Oh, oh hang on. Oh. It's a nana. <laughs> yeah, it's your nan. It's your nan. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yep, he was already within 60 feet of the ship, so you can summon the Celestial right next to him, and, uh, <laughs> and I'm assuming it just takes its turn right after you. Yeah, it's uh, one of those summon yes, spells. It... Then go ahead and make your, uh, your, your attacks or your spells or anything, or whatever you're doing. I'm I assume you're, you're not the... healing, like, yeah. touching them. I'm assuming you summoned mm. the mace one. No, no, it's gonna... Weapon attacks is just my spell modifier, which I think great, but I just... God, I should do it. Actually, isn't it pretty good because like, you've got the focus? Maybe this, down. basically. Like, so, yeah, pretty good. 15. 15, unfortunately, does not hit their uh, their plate armor. <laughs> um, Alrighty then, so he is being monitored. Does your Celestial have hit points? Uh, yeah, I think it was the same as the dragon, this one, doesn't it? Yes, it's 40. Okay, so they are, uh, they are... So it's 50, 50 hit points. Yeah, but they are effectively corporeal, so they... Okay, that will change their, their strategy. Because um, there's no point trying to hit something that you can't actually touch. Uh, but the fact they have hit points suggests they are at least corporeal enough to punch. And that's what matters in a game of D&D. Yeah. I believe mine just got 60 now. Uh, Gwen, anything else for your turn there? Uh, nope, that'd be it. Oh, damn. The Zorn bites the rock! <laughs> That was a delicious meal for the Zorn. Yeah. Hmm. What's Why is this beat? Blue. Oh, it's because it's one of those weird ones where I think it's like, yeah, there's a one and a six in it. Ah, uh, okay. It yeah, happens with like fireballs and stuff. Yeah. Interesting. Saying blue summoned blue. <laughs> da birdie, da birdie. Any better, Neil? I'll tell you that as a no. <laughs> yes. Yes! We can hear you! In time for his turn. Which it is now Lou's turn. Lou, how much of the past round have you been managed to keep up on slash here? I've been listening, but I've uh, got to open up roll 20 and everything. <laughs> that is fair. That is fair. What would you like to do if it was your turn? You were it. Well, if it is your turn. Uh, if you were in roll 20. We got one guy who's like 60 in front of us, and the other ones are on asteroids. Down here. Do you have any spells that are 60 foot range? Pretty much everything he has yeah. a 60 foot range. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to attack the guy who is 60 feet away with? Uh, let's cast Fireball. He's gonna do Just turn off his armor again! again. <laughs> Armor deactivation, Lou. Um, he does have advantage because he's still in space, so he has thrusters. What was his dex again? Plus three. Uh, that is a twelve. 
Go ahead and roll. Uh, you, once you're in, roll damage, and we'll see if that's enough to actually take them out. Because their uh, DC is set by how much fire damage you do. Yeah. While you we're waiting for loot to actually come in. Uh, fuck you, assume, assume this front guy may be preoccupied. Um, What would you like to do? Um, okay. So they're all within a nice range now. There's a couple at of least. them at least. <laughs> yeah. Um. So this one here. We're going to try a new spell on. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, this is the... Yeah, this is the one that I was mentioning. The one in front may be deactivated depending on how high Lou rolls. Um, you can still attack them, they just might be deactivated. Okay then. Uh, what, what about... The, is this... Uh, Alvina. Um, <laughs> Who yeah, is that? <laughs> this one's not engaged, and this one's not engaged. Yeah, the but they're also behind them. asteroids, so I might not be able to see them. And uh, that's the other one. That one's definitely yeah. in line of sight, and it's... Uh, looks 120 from the front. Say about 120. Yeah, 120. Yep, 120. So that's perfectly in range for this spell. It is my uh, Relothin's Psychic Plant. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Let's see if this hits. Why did it? It's an oh, intelligence save, apparently. Save, so. <laughs> I thought it was an yeah. attack. Apparently it's an intelligence save, uh, to which they do not have a modifier. Uh, that is a 9. They fail. Hell yes. Oh, so they take 27 psychic damage and are incapacitated. <laughs> and are incapacitated? Do they get a save at the end of the turn or anything? Uh, it's until the start of my next turn, I believe. Okay, start off your next turn. Jeez. Nice. And let's give uh let's give Lou a D ten as well. Hell yeah. D D beyond is just loaded. Cool. Yay. You have a body inspiration. So <laughs> you want fireball. Yes, go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> he ma he just is he maxes damage in Nat ones and it's another just down giant. No, they've already rolled the, um... Oh, no, I guess that, that that was the deck safe. Yeah, they've not actually rolled the con yet. Yeah. Uh, they... they failed? Yeah, so... Yeah, Lou, Lou's got a pretty high save DC. Yeah, I assume it's higher than 13, it should be. It's definitely higher than... You are, you are predominantly a spellcaster. I think it's... Um, I think it's 18 or 19, Lou's. It's around there. I'll do the Carrick Leviathan while we're waiting. Let's go ahead and just have that. Should be coming through. Yeah, it should be the same uh, DC as me, 19. Mm. I can't remember if they've got a plus 4 or plus 5 charisma. That's what I can remember. Uh, 33. 33 fire damage. <laughs> Alright, so DC at 16. Uh, their con was decent. Uh, they had a plus 10 DC con. Uh, yeah. uh, they already failed the thing. This is for their, their fire check. Uh, they do succeed on the lock check. Uh, but they will t uh, they will not take the fire damage because they are immune. Oh no! Don't they have? Didn't they have disadvantage on the con save because they're superheated? Or am I misremembering that? Ah, uh, you misremembering that. Okay. <laughs> uh, they have disadvantage on the cold version. Oh, I thought I thought it was the other way around because they're heating their armor. I thought they had advantage on the cold version, disadvantage on the heat version. Oh, you know what? You might actually. That's have what point. I thought. I remember. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 you're right. I'm forgetting which which combat this was. Um, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Every time. <laughs> Lou, you uh, you know this armor. <laughs> Lou, how do you keep doing this? Lou's just got the on off Feel now. the burn. <laughs> so, we thought Zormir created this armor. Par Turns out Lou just put the idea in Zormir's head. Yeah. It was, it was in just, the diagram was in one of Lou's lot. pamphlets. Lou's just found the Make it weak to me. 
when I was full warlock, I got in his armor's head. And you guys <laughs> think that Lou's transition from warlock no, to sorcerer, haven't. but that's all a ploy. <laughs> that's the long They are still game. fully in control of this campaign. It's long, the long you game. know what makes that more plausible? So because we put... Yeah. My background charlatan. Yeah, he's lying the entire time. I was going to say, because we built Lou out of mostly Emberlock. Yeah. He now knows how He's Emberlock and Twisted Silver, like, mixed together. He knows it's weakness now. <laughs> he's been testing on his own body, and he just seizes up occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to shut this down. <laughs> All right, yeah, Randy, it's your... A little portion of uh, oil in the lab. <laughs> Uh, I'm Gotta get those move. joints moving again. <laughs> the dragon will move to this side of where the rock is. And it's just gonna start uh, attacking the rock to knock it back. Okay. I get like bas Basically, he's gonna try and fling this rock towards this virgin and knock it back the way. That one, I'm assuming. Yeah. yeah. No. The pink wasn't coming through, so or at least not nope. on my end. Try right, to make uh, your attacks. Okay. Uh, I believe it uses my spell. It's spell DC, I believe. Yeah. While you're doing that, Alvina, I assume you're going to continue pummeling this giant. Yeah, this incapacitated giant, which just get incapacitated, just give me advantage to hit him. I think it does. Uh, oh, you're going uh, for the one that's just floating in space rather than the one you're engaged with? Um, no, he's also incapacitated. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because he got lanced. He got, um, he got, he got mental lanced. Ooh, uh, incapacitated. I can't remember. Incapacitated by itself doesn't actually give anything. It's normally a byproduct of stuff that gives things. Because I think it just stops them taking actions or reactions, so it doesn't actually uh, uh, do anything, interestingly. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. You know, because it's like it's yeah. normally stunned or restrained or uh, paralyzed yeah, um... that actually does the thing. Yeah, it's weird that this one doesn't give it. Fair enough. <laughs> so yeah, he just he just misses his turn. Yeah, cool. I'll just wail into him then. I will. I will still reckless because. Uh, first two attacks for the dragon hit the rock. Roll for damage. Uh, uh, yeah, twenty eight hits. Yeah. Was that twenty four? He is uh, bloodied. Twenty four. Uh, 31 damage. <laughs> 31, he's looking pretty bad. And... Not looking that bad. It's not looking that bad if this was a normal encounter. Aww. You know what, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, body kinspo that one. Uh, where's my body kinspo to mark it off? Where's this dragon damage? Oh, I think I still it missed was. by one. I missed by one, then, uh, Chris, against the giant. That's a 19 no, no, he's, total. It's, uh, he's got an 18. Oh, yes! I think I had 20 for some reason. Hell, yeah. And that is, yeah, then 14 slashing and 12 radiant this time. Uh, 14 and 12. He is just up. There is, like, he is he is rockying this. There, You can see uh, the armor's come away from his face now as he's trying to concentrate on where you're, you're bl hitting your blows in. There's blood and bruises everywhere. I'm standing on his shoulders, just bam, 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 bam. <laughs> this ten foot giant. Uh, he's gonna get one last, one last swing at you. Uh, he's for uh, he is incapacitated. He can't even do anything. <laughs> I forgot about this. He just misses his turn. <laughs> uh, how much damage is this rock taking from the dragon there, Zormia? Uh. Will I do the fire breath as well? No, you get. Uh, do you do the fire breath and the three attacks? No, you get three attacks or the breath, I believe. Uh, dragon makes number of rends equal to half the spell modifier oh, whether rend is down weapon. and the breath weapon. Okay. Well, you tell me there, Bob. You're, it's your stats. Uh, I'm so not reading this thing. <laughs> that's five fire damage on the. Five fire uh, damage onto the. 3d6 14, plus 30 damage. 14 and 12. Is it? It's plus 10, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, 20, was it 26, 31? 
Uh, as you do a massive chunk of, uh, you do a third of the damage to this rock and manage to uh, to push it back a little bit, uh, as well as you can start to see it's beginning to crack. Unfortunately, I can't make the rocks any smaller. Um, the rest of the giants, this giant's gonna have to. Uh, you can actually start pulling it back away. He's got two. He can dash move. Yeah, let's dash move here. Because you actually are destroying the rock. Uh, but the rest of them... He's running away with his rock. He's running away <laughs> with his rock. Uh, <laughs> they are going to shoot their rocks forward. Let's add a little, little comet trail here. That's very appropriate for this, isn't it? <laughs> uh, really is. We. <laughs> They're going to start shooting these things forward. As you have four flaming rocks incoming. Uh, do, 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 do. These guys were wanting to move a little bit to the left by two. And then we'll have them go and gather more rocks in a little bit. I need this guy up here. Uh, he's going to move his rock, and he's actually going to share his rock with this guy who no longer has one. <laughs> oh, uh, Because the bigger ones take twice as long to fire. Uh, does this guy wait another round to get the speed up, or does he just fire it and do a nice big slow... No, he's going to like push a little bit forward, but he is still going to continue charging it effectively. Okay. Um, that's incapacitated. They've all fired their rocks. The rocks will go on the giant start of the giant's turn. The point, it is your turn. What would you like to do? There are okay. four yeah. incoming uh, burning rocks. Do we have a way to deal with these guys? Because I think I can deal with one. <laughs> You can either destroy them, you can maneuver the ship uh, out of the way, and potentially have advantage on any saves for anyone that's like passing close by. You can catapult the incapacitated giant into them. You can fire the cannon. I, I'm on a, <laughs> I, yeah, I'm on a cannon. I was just going to shoot them. But... Fire the cannon back at them. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure if, if there is a way that I can shoot them so that the impact of one will knock into the others, or at least one of the others, I will do that. Uh, uh, give me an intelligence like check. Geometry roll. <laughs> yeah, give me a geometry roll to see how see oh, see how good your trigger is. Uh, that's a save. So do I subtract five from that because I have efficiency. Thirteen. Thirteen. Um, it's hard to tell. They're actually quite small and fast, and I'm gonna flash it. You're actually not sure if you could even yeah. just knock it off, like even one off course with um with just the the equipment that you have okay cannonballs unfortunately uh are more likely just to go through the rock or break the rock into several pieces than to actually knock it off course because they don't have the same mass you need a rubber cannonball okay in that case i will yell up evasive maneuvers mm. and then fire at one of the giants instead all right you want alvinus one or are you going for one of the ones that are slightly further out if you shoot i'll go for one slightly further out Oh, oh, you if, sure? you if you shoot my one, then it get, frees me up, potentially, to move next yeah. turn. Yeah, okay, I'll shoot so. Alright, go for it. Some fireball just shoots past Alvina's head. <laughs> Fucking cannon. Yep. Take his head off. But it's expertise, so it's plus 10. 28 to hit. <laughs> 28 definitely hits the giant. Uh, I would say roll for damage, but he's got like 6 health left, so I'm pretty sure you guarantee kill him, maybe? Yeah. What are the actual damage these things Just do? Dunk. It's not like 8 10, it's like 8d6 or 10d6 damage. Yeah, literally damage. cannot fail. Yeah. Okay, just... Woof, it's if gone. you roll 1 on all of them, you still do 8 damage. <laughs> I, I keep thinking just friendly songs at the Leviathan. <laughs> I can see Fre clearly friend. now the rain. No, I, I, I'm just God. I'm mixing some He's things from the, the Shrek soundtrack into my Kirby backup. <laughs> I think I'm a believer is now mixed I'm in for me, right? <laughs> yes. I wouldn't eat them if I tried. <laughs> uh, Vina, as you as you turn around, you notice that one of the asteroids that is in the psionic uh, breath attack has begun to erode away. That's Ooh, a bad wow. sign. <laughs> what? It's your turn. What would you like to do? Okay, can I get my celestial first to grab this guy and position him in the way of one of these? 
It'll That's take one of your attacks, point. but yes, uh, give me a uh, nice. give me an intelligence or wisdom acrobatics check. It has stats. So. It does have stats. So, God, intelligence is zero. It's wisdom's two. Acrobatics is yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah, checks out. <laughs> you attempt to. Unfortunately, the Celestial is used to hitting things and not trying to dodgeball things. <laughs> you put, okay. it, you put well, it in roughly the right direction, but unfortunately it does not look like it will be a collision course. Well, with the second attack then, I would like to just it to get frustrated and just to hook it at him. Just throw it. Throw the giant at the rock <laughs> in frustration. Okay. Eh, you know what? It's, it's still enough. a projectile. It's fine. It might be a bit higher than that, actually, because I'm assuming strength to throw him at it. He's got, he's got plus one to that. Yeah, uh, it, it's more just aiming it. Okay. Uh, like, if you aren't going to hit it in the first place, it doesn't matter how strong you are, if the angle's wrong. It's going to hit something eventually, so it's going to hit something eventually. Um, Gwent, is that, uh, that, that was your Celestial? Yep. What are you doing for your turn? And, uh, everybody's a little bit hidden, but do I think I can get a bead on that guy? I actually have. You, you still got other guns as well on the ship that you could use. The two. Yeah, the two I'll probably, probably give them three quarters cover since they're behind asteroids, but you can get a line of sight for anything you want. The cannons are all manned. I think the lights are a little too short range. Uh, I can hit it with yeah, my minutes. cannon, so I need him to do a deck save for a fire yeah. jet, because I'm trying to turn him off as well. <laughs> I'm trying to do a loop. Okay. Uh... <laughs> yeah, because this will be able to take that. Uh, plus three to this, so 15. Uh... Oh, it's a DC 15 as well. Oh. Ah. Unfortunately, they succeed as they manage to just kind of pull themselves to the right behind the asteroid uh, to avoid the full brunt of the attack. That one's actually in range for the raiding cannon. Oh, is he? Yeah, 300. Zero or 300 for the radiant. I mean, Gwent's a flat nat It's a flat D20 on Gwent, I believe. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, the power drops off quite quickly when it comes to lasers compared to the cannonballs. Uh, but go ahead and roll your fire damage. Uh, they still might roll a one. Uh, well, we can only... let's, if they see if you can get high enough damage output. So they'll take half of this because they succeeded for 14, which means they would need a DC, uh, just a DC 10, which I believe they do have a plus 10 to, so they automatically succeed, unfortunately. Yep. Worth a punt. Uh, they did roll a one, though. So. I just wanted to see if they'd roll a one. Um, unfortunately, this is a save and non-attack roll, but that's that's yeah, fucking you hilarious. Fail. If you if it's you one. if you literally rolled. Well, it depends, Lou. When you're rolling a save, even with a plus ten modifier, do you still want me to fail you when you roll a one? Yes. Actually, wait a minute. I just realized something. I just realized something. What's yeah. the range on bend look? Like sixty <laughs> feet. It's sixty. Damn. It's too far. Oh, it it's not. Ben look is line of sight. You sure? Uh really? read it read it I off the reading it off the out. site. I I'll post it in chat. This is a problem. Yeah, but the site has a bad habit of not showing everything. <laughs> uh that's very true actually. One moment. <laughs> yeah, fifth edition wiki says it is one moment. <laughs> Uh, no, no, it looks it looks like it doesn't actually. Um because it could roll anything and if you basically if, if the Ben look rolls a two, the guy fails. <laughs> hmm? That's fair. So you can if you want to. So uh, if you want to spend two sorcery uh, points, you can attempt to uh roll a Ben luck to reduce it from their roll. If you if you want You need a two or higher. On a D4, so it's basically 50 50. Yes, I'll uh, spend the uh, sorcery points. Roll that D4, Lou. You need a two or higher to disable another giant that you weren't actually fireballing. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Lou. 
Because somehow these giants keep running. Hey. <laughs> How are you doing this, oh, Luke? He can't keep getting away with it. How do you keep doing this? Who <laughs> is the anathema of these up. giants? <laughs> You're so an off witch. Apparently. Okay, Luke, double thumbs up, like, cheers. <laughs> I can't believe this either. <laughs> he's got a broken rock. His armor's been turned off. He's not doing. He's not doing well. It's really not. Uh, Gwen. Anything else for your turn? <laughs> nope. That's it. Thank you. All right. Uh, you know what? Everyone gets inspiration for yeah! that because that was that was a good little team <laughs> effort you did there. Hell yeah. And also because the DM needs like a minute, just it's fine. the sheer coincidence is so <laughs> so astounding to me. Do we need to, do we need to take the, f the minute break now because we are coming up on? It's only I feel like four minutes away. I feel like we should just out of honor <laughs> of how much these guys keep rolling a one <laughs> on the same check, check. which they're really good at. They well. have a plus ten. <laughs> They, need a they had a plus 10 on a DC 10 check and still failed because Lou. <laughs> so yeah, we're going we're gonna to take our... Say so. We're going to take our next little break there. We'll be back in a couple minutes. Oh, God. Holy shit. It's too good. That's too this good. is brilliant. <laughs> How far is this each square? 60. 60. You know, each square is 60. Mm -hmm. I believe when you use a measuring tool, it shows you. I wasn't sure if it was accurate. Yeah, yeah, it is actually 60 feet. It's 60 feet with a grain of salt for certain things, as an Alvina isn't 60 feet tall. Yeah. <laughs> mm. A lot of teamwork in this session. It's going well. Uh, the, the past two weeks has been teamwork. It really has. L Lou has been MVP so hard in the past couple of sessions. Yes, including the one where you weren't here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <no. laughs> the off switch is located here. How do you know that? I keep on turning myself off by accident um, when trying to alter my horns. Yeah, I cast fireballs <laughs> on myself and paralyze my head. <laughs> you wonder why my room has so many scorch marks. <laughs> I found it's a good way to start level uh, have my I meditation. Keep on my room. <laughs> so, um, I didn't do that. See, you can't prove it. I love the uh, concept. I just love the concept because I think we already established that Alvina occasionally punches in her sleep. At least at mm. one occasion, Alvina's punched clean through the wall and firebolted Lou. I'm pretty sure in her sleep. <laughs> That's how he found oh, out yeah. about the off switch because he was just sitting there, saw it, and go, ah, paralyzed. Yeah. <laughs> Meditation. Oh, God, Alvina is accidentally lose sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it used to be Randy, so it might still be Randy. We Randy don't know that. Tagged out. <laughs> he got caught. He did get caught. Caught. <laughs> Randy's probably protected now from it and also having problems with all the different voices and his nah, own still, head now. Still at least one of his personalities wants to kill Lou. Uh, so con Control is trying to take over. He goes, God, how many of there are you in here? <laughs> <laughs> the one he was controlling is now deeper down the chain. <laughs> it, it can't, it, the cap, it, unfortunately... Um... Control is a... controls commands are being blotted out by the song of Yar Har Fiddle <laughs> being about <laughs> Just whenever the captain's brain goes past in <laughs> It's the woodsman. He was controlling the woodsman, that's why it was an axe. <laughs> I thought it was the woodsman because he just had an axe, like there was a spare on board. <laughs> the woodcutter Woodcutter is basically personality is just like it just saw Lou as a tree at that point. <laughs> I love the 
concept as well that Randy's not proficient with axes. Oh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. He's not perfect. At least not great axes. At least not great axes. You've just made you've made him worse because he's got a, he's personally now has to have a, a alignment of their own. Yep. Oh, the prospector is definitely chaotic neutral, by the way. Oh god. <laughs> Yeehaw! I found gold! Yeehaw! I found gold and I got me some dynamite as well! <laughs> I stole it from that guy over there! If anyone's hey, where'd seen... it go? <laughs> if, anyone's... If, anyone's... if anyone's seen the really old Jesse Cox skit about the old Miner Man, the prospector, that's the voice I'm imagining. Exactly that voice. Mm. <laughs> I'd, I'd love to see it as the the prospector steals the, the dynamite off of fuck you and is like ecstatic he's got it and then it just disappears from Oh the yeah, shit, he's got grenades. <laughs> he's like, ah, oh yeah, I can get I have just gonna get realized a lot of gold that, with this one. <laughs> that is, that Where'd might be the, that might be the only way to kill fuck you. <laughs> Take, steal one of the grenades, pull the pin, throw it and it gets teleported back <laughs> to fuck you. <laughs> because it can't be stolen. <laughs> I mean, you'd have to um, pull the pin as you steal it. Yeah, it's definitely doable, right? Would would the pin still be stolen? No, the pin would also the pin would the pin would also appear yeah. just in Fuku's pocket, yeah. <laughs> not in the grenade anymore. <laughs> it appears on his finger, going, "That's not good." That's a bad sign. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, all they really need to do is steal the pin. Yeah. But I think he'd try, if there was a prospector, he'd probably try to steal your grenade and use it to blow up to mine more gold. Oh, God. There probably is one personality brewing now because of it, because you're finding diamonds. Yeah. It's just the Tabuscus. It's just Tabuscus. That's just what the personality is. Man, the diamond. You take a one pen out of that bandolier that fuck you's got. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. We need to make we need to make the custom advancement to that item, which is just a piece of string attached to every pin, so fuck you can just like pull them all at once if they want to. <laughs> <laughs> one action. <laughs> you assume that fuck you hasn't already tied bits of string to them. Entirely possible. <laughs> I'd believe it. <laughs> In case of emergency. What emergency? You never know. That's why it's the it's case not, of emergency. Not in case of emergency. It's just because he wants to prove that he's immortal and he's going to blow someone up. I was like, not, <laughs> it's a, Come on, in, man. In, in, in case of emergency, what emergency? In case I want to cause an emergency. Yeah, in case you want to cause one. I thought it was just in case of boredom. In, that boredom yeah. is an emergency. <laughs> yeah. What's the emergency? <laughs> if I get a sudden urge to just do it. <laughs> it counts. Yep. Yep. I've just realised the only way we might get... Fuck... Well, actually, no, there's, there's two ways we get Fuck You to turn back to neutral in alignment. The first one is we get the, what is it, tal Talisman of Valiant Good. Because they'll want both. Because they'll want both. He's just constantly in pain. Ow! I can just turn him back if he agrees. It's like a second <laughs> level spell. No, that's why we've got to have... He just has to agree. That, that's why we've got to have a reason for him to agree, like a different... I'm... Mm. <laughs> Some kind of treasure, you can only touch it if you're good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And... The, the other bit would be if fuck you's uh, when uh, when the amulet inevitably runs out of insta gib charges. <laughs> yeah. I don't want this anymore. <laughs> Which I love the concept that in theory I guess that would work against the celestials, right? Because to their perspective, they're probably good at least. Yeah. So they they probably are good alignment. In the same way that the primordials, despite actually being quite reasonable, are chaotic evil. <laughs> mm. 
go. I can't believe that worked again, by the way. We're just going to have to give him a nut at Lou at some point the on off switch for all fire giants' armor. <laughs> <laughs> might just get it at this rate. Might not need you to give it. Just, Chris might give it. That's <laughs> the new spell. Only Lou just getting a reputation, though, between fire giants. Like, stay away. Stay away. From the metal horned man. <laughs> He switches everything off. He has a power. He has power over us. How? We don't know. He can use fire on us. <laughs> he can successfully use fire on us. Like, hey. hey I'm in... slightly benevolent. I'm not going to kill you. In in theory, in the future, multiple of us can potentially deal fire damage to deal with the fire giants with fire. Because you know, on the pyromancy thing is ignores immunity to fire. So... <laughs> Or at least so that traces it was is at least three. That's like half the party. Yeah, my my assumption is that it's tier three pyromancy is gonna be treats immunity to fire as if it was resistance, and the tier four it's gonna go to tier four, right? Um, it's gonna be total just ignores it. That's that's my thoughts at least for spitballing. I'm also still really curious as what Earth is gonna have for its thing. Shield. <laughs> but it could Mister. be because if it's because if it's going by the chromatic dragon colors for the element, it will be lightning is earth. Mm. Because poison is air, <laughs> being the major reason. Yeah, it's that's poison is air. Uh, earth feels like it's more bludgeoning than. Yeah, exactly right. But there. but blue dragon is the earth dragon, so. Huh. Yeah. So, it might be lightning. We never know. I imagine it have a bunch of bludgeoning stuff still. Or just physical. It could it could generally go either way. But if it is lightning, it would be very cool. And also, flavor-wise, it could make more sense for air to have lightning instead of poison. Yeah. Right. Because we know evil uh... is acid. That's what we know. Besides fire. The usual, I got distracted. It's fine. That is fine. We, we started, I started spitballing about predictions in the future of stuff. <laughs> so. Ooh, all right, are we all back? I think so. Why uh, is there a baby Shrek thing in the chat? Ali, what have you been up to? <laughs> I just... What is this abomination I'm looking at? That is wow. what the, the character of so looks like. How did you make this so quickly? I I AI. use an AI generator, which is fine for shit posts, just not public use. Yep. <laughs> I feel yeah, this is a, this is the morally only... I'm fine with using it for temporary shit posts. Yeah, we're we're posting it in the chat. You will never see it, audience. Yes. <laughs> but that's my response to that art. Mm. That's also probably Alvina's response to the creature. Uh, so... <laughs> I think it's cute, and I want to tame it. <laughs> but Alvina or the thing. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Can't be tamed. Could stop me trying. No. Alvina might stop you trying. <laughs> You're one to talk. Double check in something. I don't want it to be fully tamed. Just like, you know, if you make a crow friend. <laughs> they come and give you gifts occasionally and just know you're a friend. I had a magpie like that when I was younger. There was like a baby magpie that crashed into my head. Oh. And uh, it just was the most friendly thing ever. It was in the paper. <laughs> yeah, I've set up a bird table just outside my window. And there's just one magpie that keeps coming back to it. And just sort of sits there and looks at me. <laughs> They're very, very smart. <laughs> so, um, when the food's em empty, just that sits nearby, looks at me, goes... Like, hey, dude, we're, mm -hmm. we're empty mm -hmm. or fill it up. Yeah. They are very, so very up, fill it up and he goes and eats. They are corvids. They are very smart. Yeah. Yeah. It's got the same kind of mental capacity as like a four or five year old. Yeah, something like mm. that. I think like ravens are the brightest ones. They have like a seven year old or something insane like yeah. that. They're very, very smart. They're taming wolves in America, by the way, in the same way yeah. that humans did. 
There's actual things yeah, for that. The what? Ravens are taming wolves in America. Like Jesus. they're actually in the same way that humans do. It's hor- It's terrifying as a concept. Bird dogs coming soon. <laughs> Bird dogs. It's like that. There's some chimps there hitting the. Was it the Stone Age? They're starting to make tools. There are chimps that are hunting gorillas now, by the way, if you want a really horrifying one. Ooh. <laughs> Fuck, they're pretty much really turning the planet of the apes. Mm. Uh, Gwen, did you have any bonus actions or anything you wanted to do? No. Nope. Right. Yeah. Uh, then... Uh, question. Should I yes. roll uh, at least one check to see if I recharge for the, the warp? Oh, it happened one turn. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, we should be doing that on, uh, because I'm not really putting a ship, because I've just been moving it it's on Randy's turn. turn. Yeah, on Randy's, Randy's turn. turn. Um, yeah, we should be doing that on Randy's turn. Uh, roll me D6, I think it recharges on a 6, yeah. Recharge 6. Do, 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 do. If we get and it we'll back, it. I have a hilarious idea, by the way. Aww. 3. 3. Uh... Unfortunately not. Um, Big Zorn is seeking out their next meal, and there's a couple diamonds over there, but shh, don't worry about it. Uh, Lou Grimm, it is your turn. What would you like to do? There are two floating giants and some asteroids coming towards you. I guess there's technically three floating giants, as one doesn't have a head anymore because the cannonball removed it. <laughs> no, that's I'm true. Gonna... true. Oh, I, was... I thought it was the other round. Just... One of the fire giants, but Split it. I don't think you can reach. split a fireball. Yeah. I don't. I also don't think you can reach, Lou. Because remember, yeah. What's what's your out... range? Oh, there's only these guys. Sorry. Oh no, those are friends. Oh right, the friends. That's the dragon uh, yeah, that's... celestial. We know it's a dragon celestial, which we have fought before, but they're friendly. Well, yeah, they're they're on your side. I missed that bit because of... No worries. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, I think the closest enemy to the ship right now, because you'll have to do some maneuvering, is 300 feet away. You might have to... Uh, you can, might have to hold your action, but obviously that will use a spell slot. If you don't get there, you'll waste it. Um, you could just firebolt them, or you can I attack some of the incoming asteroids. That. You firebolt him. Uh, just the, the guy himself or one of the I asteroids? Think, I think he's out of range of firebolt, even with sniper, actually. For it... I thought it was 240. Are you double I'm doubling just... this somehow? Again. Remember, you're. It's yeah, remember, we found doubled. it is, it is no, doubling thought, correctly. Uh, it doubled with Fireball. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's, your Fireball will you, already be doubled. Yeah, you, it's, it's base is 120. You you used to have oh, right. um, the Warlock thing that made your Eldritch Blast double it again. Uh, yeah, but I thought uh, this thing uh, a couple of weeks ago said uh, Fireball would be doubled from what yeah, it yeah it, it does already. but it's it's 180 it's 120 being doubled to 240 yeah oh, right. you're like you're like one space short um the 240 you're seeing is because D beyond is doing the math for you yeah last the other week we figured out that your air of effect spells aren't affected by it is what we found out yeah <laughs> um your only current targets in range of the ship uh are the incoming uh comets if you want to fire at any of those or you can uh, Get under deck or hold your turn or do anything like that. And I'll bolt one of the asteroids. All right, roll, uh, roll your attack and roll for damage while you're doing that. Fuku, what are you doing? Um, Fuku's probably going to do another lance. Hell yeah! Ooh, what's the range on your lance? It's one twenty. Because uh, I don't think there's anybody in 120 that, yeah, that guy's... isn't either already oh, incapacitated that or dead. dead. No. That guy's dead now. Yeah, I just saw, saw the X now. I didn't see that before because it's so it's, It just blend in, yeah. Yeah, let me put a little <laughs> skull there as well. Asteroid. It does. It takes the 23. Uh, unfortunately, the asteroid still has a bit of health left and is still incoming. You managed to chip away some of its health, though, and kind of take off a corner. Um... Could skirt around that. What, what's the range of the cannons again? Six hundred. Six hundred. Yeah. yeah, you'll be in range of someone with six hundred. You'll be in range of oh, yeah. all the asteroids. And I mean, no, no, no let the asteroids hit. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Your I'm ship's got a hit pool. It's fine. I'm not on the ship, so it's fine. 
Let me just, and let me just add the 600 hit points to your, your ship. There you go. That way I can... We got the ship fully healed, didn't we? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah good. About to unheal it. <laughs> with so, some asteroids. Gives all me some gonna... work to do. <laughs> oh, the asteroids are he heading towards us. Yes. yes. All four of them. <laughs> this one. one. I this feel like one. I've described this several times. Guys, do I, do I give you better at descriptions? <laughs> nah, it's, we've, we've just had a break, Chris. It's fine. We've forgotten yeah. everything that happened prior to it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm going by... I was just going the by check, the this way... This is D&D, um... &D, yeah? Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> I, I can't change the, the symbols. Uh, I thought we were playing Mopo. Yeah. Damn. Oh, Mopo's great. Yeah. <laughs> um, you guys lucky this is we'll see my shit pull session anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we are fighting Kirby Shrek. We are fighting. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, no, not not fighting. Recruiting Kirby. We Shrek. might be recruiting yeah. brain eating Kirby Shrek. <laughs> um. Okay. Let, let's fire the cannon at uh, this uh, meat right here. Then. So this is plus two to this D twenty for eighteen. And this was the asteroid. Where were we heading? Uh, yeah, th this uh, one. That one. Yeah. You want that one? Okay. Uh, ooh, no, because apparently they have an AC of 17. Hmm. Uh, oh, no, you said, uh, you said 18. 18 because uh, half yeah. proficiency. Uh, yes, roll damage. Uh, what's damage on it? It's uh... Uh, 8d10 for the cannon. 8d10. It's a good thing you have that half proficiency. Yep. And that is... Damn. Uh, 40. Okay, uh, you do a, uh, as the cannonball comes in, it takes a massive chunk out off the, off the asteroid. Uh, let's give it a check to see what, if it destabilizes its direction. Um, oh, damn. <laughs> it's good or bad? So it's one of the is two. It, is for us or the it's either extremely good or extremely bad. I'm doing bad. it for the asteroid. Uh, so I, I'm trying to think, what's the most positive result? for this asteroid save it leaves the combat I mean, it, 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 it gains could sentience still be heading directly for it, it gains slightly sentience slower. slightly slower no, no 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 it's gonna go slightly faster you've reduced its mass it's now a smaller no, faster asteroid not how it works added more force forward Actually, that's no, how it, it works no, it. it technically could if he basically winged it on one side the, and shattered that side off, it would actually start spinning rapidly and gain momentum. Yeah, if you give it, you've, you've given it spin, so it's now moving. It's not rifle. Yeah, you basically gave the asteroid yeah, rifling. rifling. For all the... <laughs> there we go. Um, because it made a d20 on its on its save to keep on its way. Unfortunately for you guys, uh, anything else? Yeah, I was gonna say that. Fuck you, It's now a meteor star. <laughs> But it actually makes sense because, you know, fuck you, you worry about now. this. I am worried Sorry. about this because I noticed that its bad breath is dissolving the meteorites that are getting close to it. And That's it's got cigarettes. That's a slight bonus? Mm. Less meteors for us to deal with and avoid. They weren't in our way, these ones, though. Yet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but that is the Leviathan. Uh, Randy, it is your turn, and we're moving the ship on your turn. Where would you like to move the ship? Uh, away oh, so I guess roll me a d6. Uh, roll me a d6 at the end of your turn. Right. Uh, Gives you a round to think about shit. We want to go hard this way. To the... Sure, why not? Let's yeah, try. I'm just going to assume you fly over this. Uh, right the through the media. It. I presume so, yeah. <laughs> I'd maybe I'm go to... slightly further away, given that's kind of tangential to the oncoming AoE. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, turn it so that most of the meteorites will sort of either skiff the, the rear end of the, the vessel or miss entirely. Uh, well, you only have 80 feet of movement. It isn't actually possible because they are quite spread out. Yeah. It's like trying um, to avoid a shotgun. Oh, also, I actually just realized this one in front of you is also coming directly at you. You might just want to move left. Oh, I thought that was passing by. No. You know, this way. The, the ones or that, that are want... aiming at the ship. Anyone that's or got the go. little comet symbol is aiming at the ship. Or did we want to move back? I was, I was speaking the comments as arrows. I'd say move left, I think. 
Yeah, guys, I can't move the like the symbols on the thing. They will always be pointed yeah. in the same direction. Yeah. yeah. It is just the fireball. Yeah. Uh, so we want delay, to, I think like, it's the delay bass fireball symbol, technically. So we want to like move back and left. At least gives you more time. Yeah. Not a bad shit. Uh. I might have so the an dragon idea. would have stayed back and bodied this one. Cool. I might have an idea for the other three. So the gold one, not okay. the orange one. Go ahead and make some attacks with the dragon as it comes to body the the comet. The gold one's the dragon, the orange one's the celestial of Gwent's. Mm. I don't know if Gwent's one also wants to body check it, but... <laughs> I mean, to protect Gwent, yeah. yeah. Celestial Nana can take with hit. Celestial Nana. <laughs> oh, yes. That 20. And that one, evens out. One hit, but it was a crit, so... Unfortunately, most of its damage comes from its flat modifier, so... Mm -hmm. Two to six plus Yeah, it's not one. actually that better. Yeah. I'd actually rather have the that hits than the crit. Feel better seeing the green. Yeah. <laughs> and then you feel bad seeing the red. <laughs> yeah, but you know, you can't expect not to see red. Mm -hmm. With this many fire giants. I mean, it only sees red. That's a right color. It's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> it's Alvina colorblind, but just everything is red. <laughs> No, that's technically that's Lou in the that's, te bills. that's technically Lou in the dark, actually, I think. Because don't mm. isn't it actually is it is it tieflings that see everything as shades of red or is it the Ifrits? That the uh, the fire it's... the fire ganasi. Uh, I think that's the Ifrits, but don't quote me on that. The fire ganasi. I can't remember if it's tieflings as well. It's one of them. I know I know the fire ganasi do, I can't remember if tieflings also do or not. I've not read in depth, so possibly. Yeah. I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> for the second damage. They only hit once. No, oh, yeah, only hit once. That was a double damage. Uh, that's the fire. That's the fire? Yes. fire. Alright, you managed to do another bit of chunk in there. Uh, however, that's not enough to, to stop it. Because uh, it didn't blood yet, unfortunately. <laughs> the dragon would be parked right in front of it. So. Well, then or the both. dragon can take the full impact if you want. Yeah, the yeah, dragon's about to be was, hit by a meteor. He was basically trying to body it for us. Hmm. Um, well, I'll get to that at the start of the Iron Giant's turn when they effectively move. Alvina, what would you like to do with your turn? Alvina's going to do something anime. Yeah. Um, it's the only way I can describe it. <laughs> uh, would it require me to have a destiny point to grab the meteor and swing it around and smash these three with it? <laughs> Oh, the meat, the giant meter you're next to. Yeah, grab it, twist it with all the fire pyromancy she's got, and just put it in front, if nothing else, of the three incoming meteors. Well, let's see. If uh, we're talking uh, with physics, there's nothing for you to perch against to actually swing it around. You'd have to go on the other side of it in order to do uh, opposite momentum to launch it. Well, I was thinking, literally, grab it with her hands. Like, dig her fingers in and use her pyromancy to spin around on the spot. Okay, so using your pyromancy yeah. to prepare Use, Using okay. a mix of pyromancy and brute strength, essentially, to just... Well, that's the interesting thing, that the brute good. strength doesn't matter. There's no gravity. <laughs> That'd be the twi it'd be able to do for the twisting of her body. It would still have something. It's like an a, a, a astronaut moving another astronaut. Her muscles would still have to pull the asteroid on the... Yeah. And end of the swing yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. But the way asteroids the way asteroids uh astronauts move each other is effectively by opposite forces uh, mm. anyway don't worry about it. um <laughs> let's let's not get into get let's not get into <laughs> physics right now we're doing anime bullshit here anime. yeah we are but it's gotta be semi-realistic anime bullshit at least <laughs> i will accept the pyromancy yeah that's that's basically what he's doing all right, give me a pyromancy power check. Okay, that is a. Uh, what was your main modifier? Your main modifier was con. con for pyromancy. Then just give me a effectively a con check. Con check. Uh, do I have advantage for this? I think I have con advantage of cons for something. Oh no, it's against fire. Yeah, this is just to kind of see like how much fire you can put out in terms of impulse power. Yeah, and I'll use that inspiration you gave me. Ah, it's still a nine. Uh. Is it using my destiny to do this in the first place? Uh, 
No, this this is reasonable without Destiny. Uh, if you because you have the pyromancy, it would be a Destiny if you weren't using pyromancy. Yeah, so I'm gonna. Because that point, then I am gonna get finicky over physics. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna Destiny <laughs> that's just that bad one. indigestion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's one it's one more roll, right? Uh, yes. Yes. Come on. There we go. <laughs> that works. That works. Uh, alrighty then. As this gets swung around you, uh, towards the comets, and I'll do collisions with those in a second. Let's just get this. I guess I hit uh, that the, guy. This guy. Well. This guy's going. Yeah. This guy's going flying. <laughs> bah! Okay. Man got hit with a planet. <laughs> Man got hit with a planet. Um. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, I'll be anything else you would like to do. I mean, that's effectively a. That's definitely an action. An action. Right? <laughs> yeah. Um, let's do the impacts. Then we'll do one into the dragon first. Uh, technically, these were supposed to be deck saves, but I guess you just take the full hit. Yeah, it could be a, interestingly. A, you could make Is... it con, or just he fails the deck save and just takes the full damage. It's one of the two, right? <laughs> Um, so if you aren't getting out of the way of the speeding comet, unfortunately, it's like tanking a car. I don't care <laughs> how barbarian you are. Yeah. The barbarian Maybe. survives by sheer health, health pool. Um, yeah. you take 57 bludgeoning damage. That is the Still dragon up. on five, on three. Yeah, the dragon is on three. Ouch. Oh, and I guess a strength save to see how far back you get pushed. Into mm. the Celestial. Killing the Celestial as well. <laughs> <laughs> celestial can just fly out of the way. Mm. Uh, yeah, so yeah. You, you, you're you going with, uh, like, halfway. The comet was moving at two, so you you go back 60, 60 feet as you're just, like, taking the comet and, like, shredding it as you're you're getting uh, flown backwards. Um, all right, let's have these comets impact into this. I'm just going to cancel out their health pools effectively um, as the first one collides and halves this comet. Yeah. Uh, the second one comes in and just absolutely obliterates what's remaining of it. Uh, unfortunately, uh, there's too little mass that just gets torn up into these tiny little shards to stop this last comet uh, yeah, which one of these was the triple... I'm going to say this is the triple movement one for the fun. Yeah. Um, as this one shoots past. <laughs> uh, Chris, can I attack opportunity on the way past? Am I close enough? <laughs> uh, I'm going to say no, just because it's a 60 foot That's range. That's what I was asking. It's like, unlikely, yeah. but it's worth Unlikely. <laughs> um... Okay, this this Iron Giant now actually needs to release this big one and get the hell out of here because he is um, taking damage, which is why I was going to check at the start of his turn. Hey, what does it look like it's happening to him, by the way? Is he, like, dissolving? Or... Uh, it looks like the concept of his armor is dissolving, or the concept okay. of him is dissolving. Unfortunately. I, I love this thing so much. Yeah. So, the blood off of... A xenomorph? Uh, no, more like ticked. um, like he's being he's erased like... from existence with the rubber from SpongeBob. I think is more what it's closer yep. to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> it's a sonic creature, so it's erasing the the concept. Yeah, so um, it's erasing the the source code of the universe with regards to him. Yep. He's starting to get like you know the thing where there's like a missing texture in a game. Oh, I was thinking just getting slowly more and more low poly. <laughs> All right, Starting then he's going to start hits. run away. Although he might actually not actually be able to eight escape. Bit, um, bit giant. These guys are going to push this one off with two. And he should have slightly slightly more hit points. Actually, the small one should just have... Some... One second, I need to adjust some hit points here. Because the small ones are not supposed to have the same hit pool as the big ones. They're supposed to have half. Hmm. Oh, I've realized what Alvin is going to be doing. Uh, do me a favor, guys. Don't shoot the meteor. I'm going. coming towards the ship. Yep. I'll deal with it. Yeah, I'm going to use... I'm going to tank it with the Celestial. No, I'll deal with it. 
Are you going to be able to deal oh, with it before it gets away from you? Yes, because I'm going first. <laughs> I think that's well, going <laughs> I'm going before it. it yeah, I'm going like uh, in the, in no, the I'm second. Go no, as in, I'm going first in before the, the meteor is. That's my way of getting back to the ship, guys. Yeah, but is it your way to get yeah. back to the ship without damaging the ship? Yes. Yeah, it's gonna knock it off course last second. Um, I just have to catch it. I just, I just, I just do the thing that Poe did in Kung Fu Panda Two. <laughs> all right, that should be all of the giants' turn. At the as they set up more, more traps. The point it is your turn. What would you like to do? Let's see. Oh, also uh, make a roll d six, Bob, for the I'm end of. Uh, oh, nice. Would you roll two? Cool. Oh yeah, I see it now. Uh, the point. So I measure it. Think on. Anyway, um, the ship has like speaking tubes to speak to people in other rooms, right? Yeah, yeah we saw that in an earlier session. Yeah, it was something okay. like that, yeah. Good, okay. In that case, I'm going to speak to Drax. Just send a message saying, Hey, um, Sonic Leviathan, what's they like? Hmm. Payment can be oh, rendered on later. The beach. It's the uh, mad scientist voice. <laughs> what do they like? Right? What do they like? Well, in my study, in my exploration of the vast cosmos around us, I'm feeling very melodramatic today. <laughs> He's been watching a lot of Rick and Morty. <laughs> watching Rick and Morty. Oh God, they going? want you to get out of their proverbial neighborhood. They like tranquility and peace, and the absence of other minds. They feed on concepts. And yet, paradoxically, they hate concepts. Oh, My advice? Leave. <laughs> get out of their neighborhood. Fair. Okay, got it. Whatever oh, lair it. domain they consider their own... They're territorial and isolationist creatures by nature. They're gigantic beholders. Okay. I, I will pass the message along. Big introverts. Okay. These guys don't like people being nearby. I'd recommend we go away, and then I'm just going to start thinking very hard about the concept of... Absence. Leave. E ear defenders. <laughs> just the, the equivalent of something you would put on to block out everything else. Thinking that really hard at them. Nice cancelling earphones. Nice cancelling headphones. Yeah. <laughs> Not sponsored. <laughs> with yeah, just some, like, with tr some, tr some tranquil music. Some ASMR, like yep. sheep sheep noises, I guess. <laughs> Ocean noises, what would be? Nice chilled vibe. Vibes. Lo fi. <laughs> yeah, lo fi vibes to not destroy everything, too. Yes. Um, anything else you'd like to do? Um, if I have an action, I'll shoot at a giant. But yeah, yeah that, that could be your. Uh, your Fire at that one! Fire at that one! You're Shove him giant. back! Shove him back into yeah. it! <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll fire that one. Ah, <laughs> oh, so hit. close to that twenty. It's eighteen. Still hit. Still hit. Uh, and eighteen is exactly what you needed, though. Yeah, you three say 8d6? 8d... no, 8d like 8 or something? I think it's 8d10, isn't it? 8d10. Uh, yeah. This thing's uh, hard, to, hard to hit with for most people since they only get like a plus 2. Um, But they pack a wallop when they do. And then you just have you over here if d10 plus 10. Shadow Fist goes, don't worry, we'll keep things chill for you. And then shoots a giant into it. <laughs> The joy, the joy of martial weapons, or in Point's case, literally being an artillery guy. <laughs> yeah. Just... <laughs> boop, boop. <laughs> All right, Gwent. Then it is your turn. What would you like to do? Uh, first thing, because Alvina said, "Oh, it's fine." I'm gonna take this suggestion. I'm gonna try and put it in front of this to push it into that one on the next turn. So I don't okay. think I can get there. Uh, you can probably dash over there this turn. Yeah, so that's going to be preparation for next time and for Gwent themselves. Everybody's out of range because I can't get to Alvino, I don't think, with... Yeah, can't get to Alvino with heal, so just going to be... These ones are supposed to have comets. 
It's fine. I'm actually... So got thrown last turn. I'm actually okay on health. I won't be when I'm back on the ship, probably. But <laughs> because of what my plan is, so just brace for that. Oh, no. I will, in that case, hold a second level cure wounds for when Avina lands on the ship. Yes. Probably cradling a meteor if the plan goes correctly. Yeah, I'll be standing back. Yeah. I'm not catching you. Yeah. How, I'm going to let you land and bounce yeah, in how, like a smear. Yeah, how and is, then here we go. Yeah, how is Alvina planning on stopping the meteor destroying the ship? Grab the meteor and put her body mm. between it and the ship as she gets rocketed past. <laughs> is the plan. Such a bad idea. If it fails. Uh... <laughs> if it fails, the meteor when... in the ship. Yeah. When it fails. <laughs> there is optimism. In theory, well, I, I look forward be. to meeting your backup character. No, it's fine. It can't. It, it's lucky. It can't actually kill me. I have faith in the meteor. It physically can't. I can survive one instant death hit. Can I use my inspiration to negate that? No. Nah. <laughs> it's the it's the barbarian ferocity, ferocity thing, and my con is high enough that I can't fail the first one. So. Well, technically, if I insta-kill you. I, if the meteor does uh, four... Actually, no, like, 800 damage, it's earned it. <laughs> 800? What is your max hit pool? Well, I've got... Actually, I think it, it might have to do... Actually, I have to do 500 damage. It has to do 500 damage. About... Why 500? Jesus. Well, because it's halved, and it has to do double my max hit points. So it has to do... About, I should have 600. It has to do about 600 damage because it's hard because resistance. No, no, I got that. But then what? what is your max hit point? 147. 147? Okay, so... So it has to do okay, 300 so would damage. Be... Okay, it would be hard. 600. Yeah, which so it has to do 600 damage to get enough that a half oh. damage hit kills me. I did not realize you are all the way up to like 140. I was like, are you above 100? I mean, rolling pretty high. I'm a barbarian yeah. with a yeah. decent con. So. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, fuck you, 120. One thirty three. Or... I don't I don't I don't balance these things anyway with you guys. I just throw yeah. CR like thirty creatures at you and see what happens. Yeah, we're fine. Puny ninety four, thank you very I, much. I stopped balancing encounters like four years ago. <laughs> we know. Um Quent, was there anything you were you were doing on your turn? Uh no, that's it, just waiting. Waiting okay. until the smear comes. Uh let's hop over here and let's hop over here. <clears throat> Uh, Lugrim, it is your turn. What would you like to do? And I think this is the second one. Firebolt. Uh, what? This the... meteor. Just shoot it. Why not? <laughs> Let's just shoot All right, go it. for it. <laughs> Which one? The one two forty uh, away. The big one on the left. That one. This right. Luce is clearing out the path around you. <laughs> All right. For uh, 25. It hits, roll damage. Fuku, what are you up to? 11. Ooh, 11. Take um, it. Fuck. This one's still um, coming for the ship, yeah? Alvina's yep. said she'll deal with that one. This one is also coming for the that ship, that though, and so is that one. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, Fuku's going to aim at this one, then. Ooh, roll damage. Yeah. I, can, I can deal with the little one. The big ones, that's more of a problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell yeah, crit. D twenty plus two for an eighteen. Uh to hit the comet. Hit yep. bit hit big comet. Uh yep. Big one. Oh the big one. Yep. That's yeah. Hilariously the AC doesn't change. Oh cool. <laughs> eight eight D oh. ten, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh eight D ten, yep. Yeah. Oh, that's nine. For oh, fifty-five. Oh, oh. oh imagine if I went for that one. There's some good rolls mm. in there. It's probably uh, still okay. okay. It's probably shattered though. That that bloodies it. Yeah. And now I actually do need to make a check to see which direction it goes in. Uh, unfortunately, it's still on course. Shame. Fair enough. The road above fifteen. Uh, but it's not going any faster. <laughs> it didn't accelerate. <laughs> <laughs> no, you That's did get plus. some some oppositional momentum in there. Cool. Uh, but yeah. 
Uh, um, to know, uh, give a has um, Blue already used his bard, bardic inspiration that gave him earlier? Uh, no, I've not. I kept forgetting about it. Yeah. I think Alvina's the other one that's used it, but I think she's out. Yeah, but you're you're too far out of range. Yeah. It's only like a sixty foot. Yeah, uh, that can do it. In. Um, you know these smaller ones do less damage as well, so that's always useful. I maybe to Randy because he's probably gonna have to do some maneuvers soon. Yeah, let's give a bardic inspiration <laughs> to Randy then. Yeah. Okay. So that's D10 for you. Okay. Hell yeah. I'm very happy my plan is to grab the meteor because I don't know if I can outrun that thing with just pyromancy without the meteor system. <laughs> Uh, Randy, it's your turn. What would you like to do? Uh, the dragon's gonna move to knock this along with the celestial and get, or push the celestial against it. If, I'm guessing it's basically gonna make sure that the celestial gets the kick forward to you're going to momentum. assist the Celestial because he's 60 okay. foot. He's not a 60 foot. So you can just stand next to him. Uh, yeah. We'll come back to that then later when I'm doing effectively a, a contest between you two and this Fire Giant's Comet. Mm. Uh, what uh, is Randy wanting to do ship movement wise? Uh, I'd like you to stay there for the turn if that's possible. Um, that's the problem. <laughs> How long can we stay? I think I'm going to turn, turn the ship. Yeah. I'll turn the ship, at least so it's pointing that way. Oh, we're getting that way. Okay. I thought we were going back to the fire stuff. Yeah, well, I'm moving further away from this and also hoping that the that, that and that will miss. Fair. I'm leaving it so that one will still come at, but the rest will cool. okay. have a chance of missing. And uh, you bring to... <laughs> And Randy's going to hold an action to switch to using one of his other spells to control the weather to boost us away as soon as Alvina's back on board. <laughs> That's the initiation for it. Yeah, Alvina okay. hits the deck, literally. Yeah. Roll your d6 for the end of your turn. Alvina, it's your turn. Okay. Can I give the assistance to the dra with the dragon now? Because I he's going to vanish as soon as I cast a spell on when she lands. Oh yeah, 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 that's um, that's that's fine. The advantage um, is prepped, the basically. Warp. Yeah, see if you get the warp. Basically, back. I'm controlling whether it boosts us. Yeah. Uh, see if we see if we get the boost back. Yeah, but I mean, uh, like, roll to see if we get the warp back. <clears throat> yeah, that's what we're gonna end of his turn. Come on, we need a six. We really need a six. Oh, Damn man. it! Okay. Oh, thanks. Um, what are you doing, Alvina? Well, Alvina is going to basically uh, rocket to try and grab this meteor and hold on, essentially. <laughs> Probably interposing right. herself between uh, the meteor and the ship, basically. Give so. me either a strength acrobatic or a strength sleight of hand as you attempt to actually latch on to a very high speed moving target. Okay. Uh, strength acrobatics, because that's basically an athletics check. Uh, for me, because I've got both of them. Yep. So. And it's advantage because I'm angry. 20. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, 20 seems like a success. Yeah. <laughs> As you're able to latch onto it, obviously it's very hot, but you are naturally gifted at this particular part. <laughs> Alvina, built for re entry. Uh... Built for re entry. <laughs> All right, and effectively you're just gonna like hold your action to to stop it as you go on the ship. Yeah, pretty much. She's she's yeah. carrying it, and she's basically gonna just brace her legs as soon as they touch down to just to shove it back, All right. basically. All right, let's do these two asteroid knockoff. Then, uh, let's have the celestial and the dragon make me a strength check that they are pushing the asteroid, and we'll do it against the giant strength. Well, technically it would be its um pyromancy ability because it's using its fire to propel it. Dragon, I think, has got plus four. Celestial Blade's got plus three. If memory serves. Jesus, that's bad. You know, I'm really. Can I? <laughs> I actually rolled twice. Anyway, it doesn't matter. They both sucked. Yeah, I was <laughs> going to say use my inspiration, but I already rolled it, so it sucked. So never it mind. It was just bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right. What's the? Uh... Been that the dragon just pushes me from behind and squishes the celestial into it. Uh, they both got pretty bad. 
Uh, oh, we suck. <laughs> I'm gonna use the destiny on the dragon because he's got he's got extra attack, so he's gonna. Okay. Yeah. He's putting his full weight into it because he's big. He's a big guy. Mm. He keeps pinging me. Silence Discord. <laughs> That's better. Ah, much better. All righty then. The dragon uh, knowing it's it's not got much life energy, energy left is basically just going to push Kareen all the left. Kamikaze. <laughs> yeah. It basically pushes the last of its life energy and it go off the thing. So. All right, that was effectively equal then. Uh, so the both asteroids just smash into each other in a dust cloud. That you know what that was that was so good. Um. Let's go ahead and let's actually add a little little dust cloud just just there. Oh, that's cool. Oh, a little dust cloud, just because you you vaporize these two asteroids. Hell yeah, pretty. Uh, that's them. They're still off. They're dead. I'm just gonna get rid of the dead corpses. Um, yeah, I don't think we're salvaging really, these especially ones. Especially because this this guy is just gonna be pushed with the asteroid. He's now just on the asteroid. <laughs> uh. This thing also starts its turn there, so it starts disintegrating a little bit. Let's just go for 5d10. Oh, that was a high roll. Okay, this asteroid's like 80% disintegrated hey. as, it's, <laughs> as it's coming out here. Um, I'm going to go to... Oh, uh, this one, we'll do this one as well, because it's going three into the ship with Alvina. Yay! Yay! Uh, I'll, I'll. Do you want me to make? Can I have just describe to me how this is work? How you're envisioning this? So how Elvin is envisioning it? She's literally holding on, like legs prepped to hit the base of the, the ship. Um, she's fully expected to take some damage from the ship, if nothing else. And she's gonna basically try and uh, use the momentum of the meteor. Now she's got actual footwork on land to spin it around, see if she can toss it another direction. Even Any direction is optional that's just not hitting me. If it hits me, fair enough. But she's going to try and throw it off, if not. Okay. Uh, just give me a strength check. Okay. Not 20. It would be nice. No. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately Jimmy didn't sense it. He didn't sense a nat 20. Yeah, I didn't feel it on that one. Didn't feel that one. Um, okay, so... It still gets a lot of its momentum kind of pushed into you as you are... Because this is, this is kind of like how long it takes you to actually redirect a lot of the momentum. So it does take you a little bit of time. Uh, but let's reduce this by... You know, this is this is minus some of the damage you would have taken. So it, this was a, effectively a full health. Well, for its size. Um, so it would have done 50... Uh, but instead, it's going to minus that 13 from it for 37, uh, which you can then half. Cool. So 37 down to... Is it 17? Am I getting uh, that wrong? 18. I'm getting that wrong. 18. 18, okay. Enjoy. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, it's just over 6. Uh, and then you're able to kind of just spin the rest off. Uh, just in this northern direction. Yeah. As I said, she wasn't a game aiming specific for air area. So. <laughs> yeah. just, okay. um, just like arc it effectively. Yeah. Uh, but you are back on the ship. Uh, 18 I need to do. So I'm going back up to 128. Thank you, Gwen. <laughs> and I've got an idea for the other meteor as well. And, if we, and you get, boost now. And we now boost because I've been um, on the ship. Randy boosts us forward with the uh, control wind to push us forward with strong winds. All right, I believe I normally do double your speed for that. So that's 160. So you can get three squares. Oh, pick up one. Get some movement. That's good. Yeah, Alvina go level spell. yeah, Alvina's <laughs> going, we're going to need to get the hell out of here. That is uh, some nasty bad breath. Mm. Uh, these guys can spend a little more time here. That's fine. Because she's the only person that didn't hear the Drax message because she wasn't on the ship. 
Yeah. It's like, Just we could have the meteorite dis dissolving. Oh, God. <laughs> I see the giants way. dissolving. <laughs> yep. The meteorite's pretty bad. The people? Worse. Mm -hmm. I've got an idea oh, of that. For them, yes. For us, that not so much. That should be everything. They're going to risk another round just to get higher velocity. Uh, the point, it is your turn. What would you like to do? Also okay, I'm going to spend an action thinking really hard in like a Disney princess style song. Essentially a, hey, you're cool. We're cool. We're going to go away now and leave you to it. But we think you're cool. Please don't kill us. In kind of like a Disney princess-esque song at this thing being thought. We're gonna go. Of course, the humming under my breath. Yeah. I, in my head, <laughs> I just got to the sound of me. So long, farewell, of Peter singing yeah, bye. You. <laughs> There's so many different songs mixed in there. Yeah. So if I can get more from the Shrek soundtrack in there, I will. I can't <laughs> fix one. I, we're on our way, on my way, but on our way away. Oh, I've just, just realised there actually is, I don't know why, yeah, I've just realised there actually is exactly what Alvina was doing as a gif. This is what she tried to do. It all, <laughs> half failed, but <laughs> Oh, yeah. The... Yeah. <laughs> the, the, oh, the, the key here, here is what you're, what you're trying to do is the, uh, the monk's redirect throw. Uh, unfortunately, it has to fit in your palm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> As we can see here, look at that perfectly reasonably sized object, not car sized meteorite. Yeah. <laughs> it was possible because barbarian at all. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, all right then. Uh, point is that you? Uh, that is me, unless I get a roll to try and convince this thing to listen to me. Uh, no, unfortunately, I actually can't hear you yet. You're still too far away. <laughs> <laughs> You're outside, outside of his thoughts, so. <laughs> That's why I've right. not been using up an action for it either. <laughs> Yeah, you're I'm, I'm, I'm using an action to do it. <laughs> you don't. You don't know if it can hear you or yeah. not. Think louder, oh, well. point. Think louder. The dragon. Think louder. <laughs> yeah. Also, oh. my dragon's gone. You're like, you're, you're, like a, you're like a thousand uh, feet away. Uh, which one was that? Yeah. I think it might have long range yeah. psionics. Um. Apparently not. It doesn't actually know a language. It's also, it's the tinfoil That's hat. That's why I'm communicating in music. It's also the tinfoil hat point. It's actually keeping all the thoughts inside your head. <laughs> oh, god damn. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't realised it yet. <laughs> that, that, that I think it's can. Response, it's just the echo of my own thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, go ahead, it's your turn. What would you like to do? Ooh, there's not a lot I can do, so I'm going to drop this list to yes to you because... It's done its job. I'm not going to be able to get anywhere. So I'm just going to, just in case we need something, just going to rock up a peak of the we, we need hope. Well, that's the good thing we need. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just so everybody has a little bit of a boost of, hey, maybe it's not so bad. Yeah. <laughs> the point was already so optimistic. <laughs> just ah. no idea it was. So is Alvina. Oh, there's Zorn. Suddenly Zorn. It's the real hope that it speaks full primordial. As you do so, uh, you hear something impact the ship uh, uh, behind you. I don't know where Gwen is. I assume Gwen's somewhere. He's on top of the ship um, with Alvina. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, suddenly Zorn. As suddenly the Zorn has landed on your ship. Oh. Nom nom. Hey, buddy. He's <laughs> just, just hitching a no. ride. Uh, Alvina's nom, nom. going to say, oh, hi, Inignan. In case it speaks primordial. Um, you understand a little bit of what it's saying. It's, it's definitely speaking primordial, but it's saying it in the Terran dialect. dialect. Yeah. <laughs> which is, um, you know, there, there's there's some commonality words there, but as we've all heard from any sort of really strong dialect language, it's amazing how nonsensical it, it can it's sound. Speaking this, is a, at you. this is literally a primordial rock. Geordie. This is literally a rock <laughs> talking to a fire. This is this conversation um, that is happening between It is, it is. Uh, but you get the translated version of as it lands on, on the ship, it seems to almost like with its three legs and three hands, kind of just like almost cartwheeling around the ship, it seems to have its big maw and eyes pointed down towards the hull of, of the ship and is uh, muttering, nom, 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 nom. Oh, that's nom, why Alvina nom. understands it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> 
Nom nom. Go ahead. Give me the rock. Give me the rock. Give me the rock. Give me the rock. <laughs> Which I'm assuming you guys just threw down into the hold. No, it's they're on Gwen. They're on Gwen. Gwen got them. They're on Gwen. Gwen they're literally on Gwen. I said. Oh, they're literally. Uh, suddenly the Zord looks at Gwen. Yeah. Gwen, pass me the nom, rock. Nom 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 nom. Gwen, pass me the rock. Pass me the rock. Pass me the rock. Now, now, now. Hurry up. It's going to try and nom, eat you nom. if you don't. <laughs> Luckily, that's his turn because I had to dash to get here. Yep. Uh, Lou, it's your oh, turn. What would you like to do? I, can I do a bonus action before? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to reach into a pouch and take this choke, choker fluid and drink it. Action saves uh, the bonus action. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Action turn. Bonus action. Oh. <laughs> so you got another action. Yep. And then so what I'm going to do. Get bonus action to get another action. Yep. <laughs> Pass the well, to Technically, they use, the bonus ac yeah, they use the bonus action to get an additional action. Yep. Uh, you can yeah, only use it once until you short rest. Dreadful ass. That's like... fine. I'm going to scream, GET OFF THE SHIP! <laughs> That's it. Ooh. Are Zorn immune to the frightened condition? I actually have no idea. God, I hope not. They might they be. Uh, who knows? Not. What am I making? Wisdom save? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, plus zero. Nothing else to build this. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> No, I'm gonna, right, as my reaction, I'm going to upcast Silvery Barbs. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> as a second level, like, no! Nom, nom, nom. No, no, oh, no. My no. <laughs> oh my god, please. Please, double please. 20. Double 20. Like double 20. I'm leap off the ship. Uh, I'd, like to, I'd like to think that in the frightful aspect, he's became a Zorn as well, and they're just arguing over the nom, nom. He's become his mum! <laughs> no! Nom nom. Nom, jumps nom. Off the ship. nom 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 jumps off the ship. Well, that worked. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't he's fucking that way. You silvery bars. Who's uh, getting the other twenty? Who's oh. getting, getting the reroll, Gwen? Because you get to pick someone else to get the advantage on something. Yeah. I feel like Randy's gonna need it to get us out of here. Oh. We can't What's get advantage wrong? on the recharge for the ship, can we, Forrest? I'll allow, I'll allow revenge on the ship. It's magic. Um, <laughs> then I'm going to okay. scream at Randy, you jump! Return <laughs> to jump! I imagine Gwen exactly his voice cracks at that moment. <laughs> They've managed. They've not, they've not recharged yet. Um, <laughs> you'll have to remember this, though, because uh, the DM just shot out his voice by shouting yeah, I'm nom. I was say, that was loud. <laughs> it peaked the mic. Oh, uh, that is such a good... We're, uh, we're at the end of the initiative order as well. Uh, well, actually, no, Lou, you have the final turn Um, if you want to do anything after having witnessed this the, chara the charade. If we're uh, going in this general direction, that clear path, then I think there's we're going... not really much I can do. Yeah, we're going that that's way. Fair, that's fair. Um... Oh, we're going that way. I yeah. Uh, let me see then. <laughs> Can't believe that fucking happened with the zone. <laughs> I just like that. I'm just slowly moving it closer. You guys didn't notice. No, I, I was spying. I just wasn't it's interacting because it's more pressing problems. Asteroids. I love Zords. Zord. Nom. 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 What are you doing to that asteroid? Fireball. Roll for it attack and did. roll damage. Wait a minute. I've just realized something. Fire is Scottish. Alvina's a red-headed Disney princess. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't use the um, bow and arrow, though. She's got a bow and arrow, actually. She doesn't, <laughs> use, it. She, she doesn't use it very often, but she does have it. 
But yes, with with that, with the shenanigans, um I'm just rolling fireball. Yes, yeah, so then I'll add on the, the damage. Uh once once it's on screen. Um uh, the twenty hit. Yep. And eighteen damage? Eighteen damage. Nice, take it. Yes, with with that as it brings us to, to nine o'clock as we end the round there. Uh, that is where we're going to end for the night as the Carrick Leviathan continues to chase you with its stinky breath, want you to get out of its territory and eat you. As there is one large and one small asteroid still on the way and uh, several other asteroids being powered up right now to hit you with maybe a little bit more movement next time. These guys have been going for two rounds now instead of uh, releasing them. That's fine. I actually have an idea for at least one of the big ones and it's going to be very funny. Uh, and you've managed to terrify the, the, nor, the Norn uh, Zorn the norn. away. We've terrified the Norns! <laughs> Fate is scared of us. And you've acquired two 1,000 GP diamonds and a recharge on the ship teleportation for next session. Uh, with all that, that is <laughs> that is going to be today's session 106, Tactical Giant Part 3, as we get into more tactics next week. Yeah. I'm actually quite liking this little, like, I, I throw, I just run away. It's been fun. <laughs> it's been really fun. It's been really fun. I've got one. Run, yeah. oh, on, run before the Sylviathan comes. Yeah, because oh, like, can we take it? Maybe, <laughs> but I don't want to find out. <laughs> uh, I've got a lot of hit points. That's the main reason. It's because I'm assuming yes. that's a dot area and it's got a lot of health, so it might kill us not doing anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> With that, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for playing. Tune in next time as we continue to flee from these shenanigans. And I'm sure the Giants will continue to roll more Nat 1s to not float in space. This one guy, by the way, is just is just dying. He can't move. He's just locked in this breath. <laughs> all around me are familiar faces. Uh, I hope you guys know what you've done here. But with that, good night. See ya! Bye. 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 Don't mind. Okay, that was a lot of fun. I am. I cut. This was the, one of the memeiest sessions we've ever had, and that's really saying something. <laughs> <laughs> so <True>. many things. <laughs> Never has tactical combat been Never this shit toasty. <laughs> it's been great fun. I'm really enjoying this as well. It's it's a good time. Yeah, this is a good final fight for this little yeah. segment as well. It's really interesting, honestly. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to the next one. So yes, uh, thank you, Chris, for GMing. Thank you, everyone, for playing. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. We'll be back next week uh, as per usual. It should be a good time. And we are guys... down a... Um... Gwent. We're down a Gwent. Gwent, yes. <laughs> okay. And I might be late. That is fair. Yeah. As far as I know, I'm here on time next week, but we'll find out. <laughs> but yeah. And I'm away the week after. <laughs> but yes, uh, thank you everyone for watching. Have a fantastic evening, everyone. Who keep playing video games, keep your awesome. You guys are the best on Twitch. Enjoy yourselves, guys. Have a wonderful time. Good night. Enjoy your weekends. Bye. See ya. Bye. 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 Bye.